Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. We're very Harry Potter-esque tonight. I've done a few changes. I got, uh, I was very much getting in the spirit of, uh, of Harry Potter here. So we have a few, uh, ch but I've been able to pop into a few of the streams. Daytime is harder for me because with the kiddos, but I've been able to pop into a few streams today. Looks like everybody's having fun. Let's see. Let's go up the top. Who do we have? Kenny says, hi, Emily. I'm not going to be late today. <laughs> Sounds good, Kenny. Hi, Jay. Says, Cat. Says, got to set up now. Got set up to watch now to run puppy dog out so I don't have to do it during stream. That works. That works. Let's see. Good evening, Emily and Steve. <laughs> I'll tell him when he comes in. We'll say hi, Steve. Uh, happy Friday evening from New England, USA. Hello, Ellen. Live is early tonight. No, I usually uh, start the starting soon, about 10 minutes early. It gives everybody a chance to come on in and everything. So let's see. Nope, not started yet, Shell. Well, now I have. But, now, but I'm reading back now. <laughs> Don't have Harry Potter, but I'm planning on watching. Sounds good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is there a PDF we have to you for the event? Or can we do any any Harry Potter you want? I just happen to be coloring from this book. Uh, but you could color any Harry Potter that you wanted. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Sounds good, Ellen. Hi, Jennifer. Catherine. Hello. Let's see. Oh, no, Kenny. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, thanks, Ellen. Let's see. Let's scroll down. Don't want to miss anyone. Hi, Tyler. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Whenever I see Admiral Catherine, I think of like a Catherine Janeway from Star Trek. I'm guessing that's not the reference, but if it is, like, that's super cool, too. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's scroll on down. Don't want to miss anyone. <laughs> Miranda. All caught up now. So hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sounds good Loretta and hello. So yeah, we are going to be coloring in the Harry Potter coloring a book. Um, it's funny. I started live streaming. Um, oh, is it real? It is Jane. Wait, oh, we're automatic. And so we're going to do this one. And the great thing is, is the book has a great reference photo in the back. Obviously, it's not the exact same pose, but it shows you all of the colors and everything that you need. And we're going to be using uh, Faber-Castell polychromos tonight. This will be my first time since I've got my new set of uh, polychromos doing skin. I've done skin before, but I haven't used the Faber-Castells too much for skin. So I figured nice little small space. This will good way to uh, be a good way to get into it. Um, but aside from that, that, I also got a new book in the mail yesterday. Ba, 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 ba. Doctor Who! And if Lazzie sees this, she'll be super excited. Lazzie's waiting on hers also. But very, very nice. The pages, um, some of the drawings or lines are a little thick, but not all of them are that way. And the paper is really nice also. It might be slightly thinner than the Johanna pages. Not much, but they are more of a cream tone than they are a white tone. But I'm excited to uh, color a page in here, I think. Lazzie and I might end up doing a, uh, a buddy color, but we'll see. So, yes. Hi, Pat. Hi, Charlotte. So anyway, super excited. Doctor Who uh, coloring book. And then I also, I'm thinking maybe a little bit later on, I've got some Harry Potter trivia uh, that we thought, that I thought maybe we could do a little bit of. Not super complicated stuff. Off topic, but I thought about it after stream. When Steve gets his PhD, he can be Doctor Who. <laughs> there you go, cat. Hi, Allie. Oh, it's nice. It's real nice. I didn't, there's two Doctor Who books. There's the blue one and there's the red one. This one's the blue one. Um, the red one has more updated scenes and stuff in it. Hi, Shayna. Oh, I also did uh, my Gryffindor, Gryffindor manicure here. It's been a while since I've done the nail stamping, but I decided to take a crack at it last night just for the, uh, the Gryffindor colors. So we have a Gryffindor manicure, the little borders all Gryffindory and everything. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have, Admiral Catherine. I have watched that. Yeah. Or not watch it. Listen to it. Um, when I would go drop my son off at school, I go to the coffee shop and I would sit there for a couple hours, you know, working and having coffee and I'd listen to his podcast. So yes, I don't think I've listened to all of them, but yes, I've listened to most of them. Hi, Zeely. Well, welcome, 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 everyone. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and jump on in? We'll get to some trivia a little bit later. Hi, Rochelle, but this will give everybody a chance to come on in. So, uh, like I said, we're going to be coloring from the Harry Potter coloring book. Let's see. 
Oh wait, Shannon. Did I miss Shannon? Or did I say hi to Shannon? I don't even know. Let's see. Or did she just say her name and she appeared? <laughs> okay, well anyway. Oh, there she is. Hi, Shannon. Okay. Oh, thanks, Red Tyler. Oh, thanks, Shana. Yeah, I had so much fun with them. Well, little, little Harry Potter colors. I definitely didn't make a quick trip to Walgreens because I didn't have the right color yellow. <laughs> Hi, Reading with Pugs. Thanks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get set up. What do we want to start with? Hmm. We could start, I mean, there's so much in this page. We are obviously not gonna get this done tonight. We're streaming tomorrow too, but I think for the rest of the, well, not the rest of the following week, because we're also on our regular streams, we're in the middle of another page. So this page and that page will be the pages that we work on uh, in subsequent streams. So let's see if I missed anyone. Hi, White Diamond, thanks. Sounds good, Rochelle. So let's start out with, let's just start out with her hair, shall we? Let's start off a little bit easy. So she's definitely got brown hair. There's a little bit of lighter colors. So let's grab what colors we think will work for this. Hi, Queen Cats. So let's see. We've got quite a few browns to choose from. We definitely want a dark brown. We're going to grab 177. Okay. And like I said, we're using the polychromos. Okay. So 177. That nice dark brown. Um... We're gonna get this rich kind of brown too, 283. I feel like we're gonna grab like every brown in the set. <laughs> okay, so 283. Let's also grab, let's see, what do we want? Let's grab, let's grab 179. And let's grab 187. There we go, got a creaky chair, 187. We definitely need some lighter colors, so let's grab... Let's grab 103. I do like 103. Oh, Kat, thank you! Can we get some cheers in chat for uh, for Cat? You can either type exclamation point hype, or if you are a member, you can do what Tyler just did and use our little hype emotes. Let's see, am I gonna catch up? There it is, there it is. Thank you so much, Cat. Aw, you're so sweet. Hmm, taking a sip of tea, but it's still a little bit too hot. <laughs> It's the raspberry one tonight. I was thinking caffeine. Caffeine would be good. But thank you, Kat, so much. You are so sweet. All right, so let's also go ahead and grab number 199. Okay, let's turn up our music just a bit here. Grab 175. I wanna make sure we have plenty of browns here, okay? Now we might not use all of them, but I wanna have them all out just in case, all right? So we're gonna move her picture to the side here. I'll be able to see it from where I'm at. Actually, we'll put her right there so I can get a good look at her. Let's go ahead and shift this and we're gonna move it on down. Aw, thanks, Kat. Grab our handy dandy sharpener. Steve would approve of that line. <laughs> Where'd I get the photo? It's in the back of the book, uh, Kenny. So if you look at... In the book, in the very back, they don't have pictures for every page, but they have reference photos for the pages, for some of the pages that are in the book. And so I just cut it out. So like on the opposite side of here is Dumbledore uh, holding Harry. My husband got me uh, the box set on Blu-ray a few years back. The only downside is, is I can only watch it on like our main living room TV because it's Blu-ray. And so like a lot of times I'll watch stuff on my computer because I'm usually working at the same time. Otherwise, I'd probably watch it a lot more often. Let's see. I wish I lived in the U.S. I'm in the U.K. It's 2 a.m. I'm fighting sleep. I still want to watch this live. Oh, well, Shell, if you get tired, you can go to sleep. Tomorrow's is going to be earlier, okay? Tomorrow's is going to be 3 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. U.S. Central Time, but that should be 9 p.m. U.K. time tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Tomorrow's will be earlier. When the kids were in school, I could fit in more daytime streams, but... 
what with uh, COVID and everything, we're all home. All right, so let's zoom on in here. Well, hello there, Hermione. All right, let's make sure she's nice and in focus. There we go. All right. So yeah, how has everybody been enjoying everything so far? Okay, I'm weird, but I kind of like to organize my pencils from like dark to light before I start coloring. Is that weird? It might be a little weird. <laughs> Okay. All right, I got my water, I got my tea, we got our tunes. Let's see, I don't know how well you can hear. I tried to choose some like Harry Potter-esque music, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so let's take a look here at her hair, shall we? Um, it's definitely darker on this side, darker on top. The light is coming from her left, but we don't see much of the left side of her head in this picture. So we are going to improvise. We have the general colors, but we don't necessarily need to follow the light line um, if we don't want to. So it's kind of nice having the reference photo though. Mir, does her neck look strange? Well, let's see. It does a little bit. Here's the V-neck of it. It's almost like she's got two collars, doesn't it? Let's see. Her tie. Oh my gosh, what is going on with her shirt? Maybe... Guys, what is going on with her shirt? Because look, we've got the picture here. We've got the picture. She's got the collar with the tie. And here's part of the tie. Now I feel like I'm looking at it wrong. You ever look at something for so long and it just like looks funny? Help me out here. Am I looking at this wrong? <laughs> this does look funny, doesn't it? It's not a loosened tie. What is this? <laughs> yeah, right? It does look funny. Huh. Well, I certainly don't want to color that part first. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. You know what? I happen to look online. Yeah, under her chin. Let's see how other people colored it. Because I screenshotted a few of it. Let's see what other people did. Let's see. Okay, here. So this was... Okay. Okay, so here's this one. Okay, okay, this makes more sense. Look, look, the tie is bent. The tie is bent under her collar. So yeah, this part is her shirt and the tie is just bent. Okay, this makes more sense. This makes more sense. Okay, see how seeing somebody else color it makes a bit more sense. Yeah, okay. Look at this. See her tie is her tie is bent. Hi Steve. Are you struggling? Well yeah, like it looked a little obscure, but now that I see how other people colored it, it makes more sense. This is quite this is all the tie right here. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the shirt. And yeah, this is the yeah. But you see how Let's it could like look funny? It looked like this was like over it. Like cause I imagine I guess the thought I thought the tie was down. But yeah, this is her shirt, shirt, collar, collar, tie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well it looked a little weird, right? I'm not alone. It probably looked, see, it's, it's got to be like one of those things where like you look at the vase and you either see two vases or two faces, whatever, whatever, you know, those optical illusions. Funny thing is, I never noticed until she said something and then I just couldn't see it right. Yeah, Kenny, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the, the tie just goes down at an angle. Exactly. Hi, chat. <laughs> Steve says bye. Yeah, a little bit. It does, doesn't it? I'm not sure about this song here. It's supposed to be called Tales from Wizardville, but I think it's a little a little bit much. Let's get rid of Tales from Wizardville. I don't like that. There we go. That's better. No more Tales from Wizardville. <laughs> yeah, it looked a little funny, right? All right. Let's see what we can do with her hair, shall we? All right, let's go ahead. I'm actually going to start with black. This, which anybody who's been here knows that me starting with black is a little obscure for me. I don't normally use black as it is, but I want to lay in where some of our shadows are going to be, okay? So we're going to put some in here. Okay. 
Let's see. Definitely have some here. So sometimes when you lay down where your shadows are going to be, it kind of helps to define the hair how it is. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> No! No, cat! The, that shell shall never live again! <laughs> it looked better once we had it done as a whole! Note to self, do not color shells- uh, shells. Sh I can't talk! Don't color shells like that again! <laughs> then it really does become an adult coloring channel, am I right? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely went with some uh, Harry Potter themes for uh, today's stream. I was having way too much fun with it today. There we go. Let's see, definitely some dark under here. It's interesting, anytime I color something that, like, I color a lot of Johanna, which, which you know, everyone knows. But Johanna's drawings are very like, there's a very clear start, there's a very clear finish, you know, there are a lot of open and close. But a lot of these like open-ended lines where it's just like a line here, I sometimes have a hard time figuring these out just because they don't, like it makes me think about them, you know, I have to think about them a little bit more. But, um, I know, right? It'll probably be fixed once we color it, then it won't be nearly as confusing. But yeah, so when I have to like stop and think about like, okay, which direction is this going? Where should the shadow really be? What even is this shape? Like it definitely takes me some time to uh, figure it out a little bit. Okay, let's see, let's put some here. So like I said, I'm just starting with the black and laying down some uh, shadowy bits here. Kind of help define the wave of the hair. Let's see. And while we're at it, while we're at it, I don't know. Should we? Uh, should we do some trivia as we as we color her hair? Anybody up for answering some uh, Harry Potter questions? Top of her bangs are pretty dark. Definitely has a full range of brown on her head, that is for sure. Although I was totally listening to the Harry Potter soundtrack trying to uh, get in the rhythm for Harry Potter. Okay. All right, so first uh, trivia question. And these, some of these are gonna be easy. Some of these might uh, make you think a little bit more. Um, they definitely, there were one or two that caught me up. Uh, so you may get them right away. There's no prizes or anything. This is, this is just for fun. So no, uh, no stressors, just, uh, yeah, just for fun. Okay, so for this one, this one is, how many points do you get for catching the golden snitch in a game of Quidditch? Oh, it's a tad loud? Okay, I can turn it down. Anytime I get new music, it's always a little hard to uh, gauge where it needs to be at. Oh, did Vicky do trivia? <laughs> okay, so yeah, the question is, how many points do you get for catching the golden snitch in a game of Quidditch? My girls just have just made me watch all of the films start of lockdown and we have just started watching them again. Ah, Kat, you are correct. It is 150. 150. She's quick. She's quick. <laughs> yep, that was 150 points. Let's see, let's go ahead and put some lack there as well. See, this right here, like, there's no open and close where her hair is, so it's like I'm just gonna have to guesstimate, I suppose. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so next one is... This one should be pretty easy. I think I need to rewatch them. This one should be pretty easy. Um, what name was Voldemort born with? What was his What was his birth name? Put there. Okay, I think we'll take a break from the black and start in with another color. Let's zoom out just a bit so we can get all of her hair in here. There we go. Tom Riddle! Good job, fairy girl! That is right. Tom Marvolo Riddle. Okay, we are using Dark Sepia now 175. Not doing much because this is also a pretty dark color in comparison to the black. So I don't... You know, her hair's not black, it's definitely brown. But if you look at the picture, she's got a lot of dark in the picture. So that's right, Tom Marvola Riddle. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next question is, in what room does Harry find Ravenclaw's diadem? In what room does Harry find Ravenclaw's diadem? And this is questions over the entire um, movie series, not just Chamber of Secrets, not just um, Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, yeah, it's overall, what is it, six? six of them? No, there's not six of them. How many are there? Oh my gosh. See, that's a good trivia question. How many movies are there? <laughs> Somehow I've seen every movie except Death of the Hallows Part 1. How does that even happen? Now you got to go back and watch part one. My husband made me watch all the Harry Potter movies when we were dating. I never paid attention, so I have no clue what happened. Oh, no, Allie. <laughs> like I said, we're just using uh, Dark Sepia right now. The Room of Requirement. You are correct. Cat is on point eight. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. It was sort of a trivia, but also, like, I was drawing a blank there for a minute. And I, which is silly, because I just looked at all the books today. Like, I should know this. Okay. Nine? Are there nine? Well, let's see. There's... Okay. Harry Potter books. First one is Sorcerer's Stone. Then we have Chamber of Secrets. Then we have Prisoner of Azkaban. Then we have Goblet of Fire. Then we have Order of the Phoenix. I feel like I'm forgetting one. Order of the Phoenix. Then Half-Blood Prince. Deathly Hallows 1. Deathly Hallows 2. Or wait, were the books put together in one book? Yes, Shay, in a room of requirement. I'm trying to remember. No, there was a part one and part two, wasn't it? I mean, obviously we know there was the movie. I feel like I'm forgetting one. Sorcerer Stone, Chamber of Secrets. Eight is right. Okay, yeah, because Deathly Hallows was one and two. They, they stretched that out into two books. If I remember correctly. Hit the wrong key. Ah, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> It's like me trying to remember all of the Johanna Basford books in order. There are seven books. Okay, so Deathly Hallows. I know the movies, they split that into one. But the books, Deathly Hallows, I'm trying to remember. I've got them over there on the bookshelf, but I can't see them from where I'm at. That's what it was. Seven books, eight movies. Okay, okay, okay. See, you can tell it's been a while since I've read the books. I, I've, you know, seen the movies more recently. But it has been a while since I read the books. I read them all in high school, so I know what happens in them. I could probably do with a refresher. You can actually rent them on uh, on the Kindle. Uh, Amazon Amazon Kindle, uh, you know, reader thing. You can rent them on there. Okay. I think that's enough for the sepia. Let's move on to... Ba -ba 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 -ba, what's the name of this one? Walnut Brown. One book for Deathly, but they split into poopy. That's what it was. Just recorded a join group my shell already name. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'll do uh, approvals uh, after after stream. Okay. Yeah. Half-Blood Prince. All right. So now name all four of the Marauders by their real names. So, you know, like who the, the four gentlemen that made uh, the Marauders map, but not by their map names, by their actual names. Okay, Walnut Brown is what we're using.
So I'm just sort of following the lines that are in the book. Sort of, or in the coloring book, to kind of show me where I want the hair to be. Here we go. It's coming along. It's coming along. Remus Lupin, James Potter, Sirius Black, Peter Pettigrew. That is correct. Good job, fairy girl. Oh, yep. Shayna got it in right after. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Getting these colors in here. I would have had to think about that one for sure. Like, it's easy for me because I've got the answers in front of me, but it's been so long since I read the books. I would definitely have to take a minute to uh, to read it a little bit. <laughs> no. I'm sure I'm not coloring places that aren't supposed to be here. But when it's sort of open-ended like this, it's really easy to accidentally go over a spot that wasn't necessarily meant for hair. All right, let's see. Um, what are the three types of wizard coins in order of value? that there. I don't want to fill up too much space because I also want to leave enough room for that kind of that richer brown that her hair is. She's not a super dark brown. It's definitely a lighter, almost maybe auburn a little bit. So we want to leave plenty of room for those lighter browns. In fact, I've got little, let's see if I can pull them up here. There we go. All right. Nut, sickle, and gallia. You are correct. See? Let's see if I can do it. If I've got the sound effects here. Here we go. Oh, that was louder than I intended. I apologize. <laughs> There we go, a little magical. Yay, hi, Rhea. Oh, gosh, it's playing all of them. <laughs> Doesn't need to be on autoplay. Got a collection of little, little sounds on my phone here. Okay, get a little bit on her bangs here. Sickle, yeah, Sickle was the other one. Oh, thanks, fairy girl. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty light at the moment, but we're going to start adding some richer browns here, and I think it'll really kind of start to come to life a little bit. Let's see. I'm looking at it. This part down here, I think... Should be part of her hair also. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. What is next? Um which hog oh yeah, which Hogwarts teaching position is cursed? I think that might be enough for this color. We can always go back and add more of this color. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use Burnt Sienna 283. I'm going to get a sip of tea here real quick. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Burnt Sienna. A little bit. Now we're getting a little bit richer of a brown on here. 
Defense against the yeah, there we go. Defense against the Dardos. Data. Yup. 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 Here we go. Yay! You got it right. <laughs> Everybody loves. Okay. Nope. It's just gonna keep auto playing. See, I don't know how to turn off the auto play. It's because it's silly to make it sound all oh happy and then wah 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 wah. <laughs> all right, we'll skip the sound effects and turn down that volume. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Super quick fingers, I know, right? Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the other one? Uh, okay. How many brothers did Ron Weasley have? The lag cracks me up. People are answering before I even hear that question. Oh no, Shannon. There's got there's I think technically about a 20 second uh, a 20 second lag a little bit. So if you if you're lagging any more than 20 seconds, then you should probably refresh. I can always change the latency like before I turn on the stream, but then there's a higher chance that you will have uh, buffering, which nobody likes. So I just like eh, we'll just work with the. Uh, with the lag yeah because right now this is all pretty light so after we get all of our color placed we're definitely go in we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some darker shadows and make this um quite a bit richer because obviously the darker browns are you know more cool colors but we'll see how it looks after our first layer Five, that's right. Oh, we have three, four, six, four, five, number five, five, number five. <laughs> yes, there are five brothers. So um, obviously we're not counting because it said brothers, so not Ginny, but you have um, uh, George. Help me out here. What were their names? You have George, Bill, uh, George, and, George and Fred, right? Bill... There's the older brother, there's Percy. There's like two older brothers that we don't see. Yeah, Bill, Charlie, Percy, George, and Fred. There you go, there you go. Yeah, because Bill and Charlie aren't ones that you see during some of the other movies. It's not till later movies that you see them. So, uh, yeah, they bring them in. Man, that Mrs. Weasley, she must have been very tired a lot of the time. <laughs> I have two kids. I don't think I could manage that many. I mean, I probably would. Plus, they lived out there with all that space, and she did have magical powers. I mean, we saw in the movies that, you know, she can use powers to do the dishes. So, I suppose if I had magic helping me with the uh, household chores, then uh, life probably would not be as, as difficult. <laughs> can we just have that happen anyway? Magic to help with the household chores? I'd be down with that. Charlie, uh, poor Charlie. <laughs> oh no, a large snake in their front bumper? Oh my goodness. Womp womp noise. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, that sound. It's called the sad trumpet. It's pretty hilarious. Okay, so... Okay, this one will this one'll be pretty easy. This will be an easier one. Um, what, what is the name of Harry Potter's pet owl? Now, this one, I think, is a cooler brown. So, we're not going to use a ton of this. I'm going to do this kind of on the sides a little bit of the two browns between like where this is bister we just used uh wall or burnt sienna and of the two burnt sienna is a little bit warmer so we're not going to use a ton of bister but we are going to get some of it down to lay down a little bit more of this brown here kind of going over some of this blackish areas hedwig yes <laughs> yep hedwig Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Charlotte, I think you might be a little bit behind. Try refreshing a little bit. Just gonna add in some of this here. 
I want to make sure this music isn't too loud. Some of this, like, more, you know, that he always talks about what it's made of, um, what is, what is inside the core. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm pleased with that right now. I've given up typing. It's not my friend. Aw. I seriously need to lighten up my polychromo polychromos pencils. I'm not used to blending them. I have such better luck with my gold favors. The music was fine? Okay. Phoenix Feather. That is correct. That is correct. Yes, Seely. Oh, hi, Belinda. I missed you coming in. I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> and if I missed anybody else, I apologize. All the lurkers, hello. I'm so glad everyone's here. Very, very nice having everyone. Okay, so now this is our next lighter color. This is going to be Burnt Ochre. Okay, and she does have some spots here that are rather light where the light is, is hitting it here. So that's kind of where we're gonna throw in the ivory. But this kind of lighter brown is what we're going for here. That's right, Phoenix. All right, so we are using, like I said, Burnt Ochre. It is number 187. Yes, and like I said, if I missed anyone, I apologize. Welcome, welcome. I am so glad everyone is here. Go. Yeah, see, this is kind of brightening it up a little bit, kind of giving it that almost lighter brown look. What are we thinking? It's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. What is on the emblem for the Hufflepuff house? What is the emblem? What is on the emblem for the Hufflepuff house? Yes, and Belinda is on after me. So technically I'm supposed to go till 10, but she doesn't start until 11. So we may um, we may keep going uh, for a little bit longer, kind of fill that space a little bit. I mean, there's nothing that says that we have to end since there's like an hour gap between me and Belinda. Um, but if you aren't familiar with Color with Faithful Girl um, and you haven't checked out her channel, drop her a follow or subscribe to her channel. Hit that bell and you'll see when she goes live for her next slot. But also you can type exclamation point Harry in chat and that'll bring up the schedule uh, for the Colorathon as well as it is in the description below. Um, and that'll give you the schedule for the entire weekend. I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow uh, in the afternoon, so that'll be a bit more agreeable um, for some. But if you want to check out that full schedule, exclamation point Harry in chat, and that will bring up the schedule. Go. No? A Hufflepuff! Nice! Honey Badger? Don't care! There you go. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to have to go over this a little bit. Get it a little bit, um... Yeah, a little bit darker. I just know it doesn't look... Like, it looks a little bit paler in the video. It always bothers me that I can't get this looking exactly the way it looks in real life. But that's why I always like to take a, a good good picture of it. Oh, uh, thank you, Kenny. I really should make a command for Belinda. Like, exclamation point Belinda, and then... All right, after stream, I'm making you your own, uh, your own command, Belinda. <laughs> okay, so what is the Slytherin's house ghost? What is the Slytherin's house ghost? All right, so now we're going to grab ivory, and we are going to press a little bit harder, and we're going to fill in the rest of these white spots, and then we are going to go back over with our pencils and make this a little bit darker. We're kind of just going over the whole thing here. Just filling in these spots here. And then she is gonna get another layer to darken up her hair. 
And then we will probably start on her skin after this. But definitely needs to be a bit darker. So yeah, what is the Slytherin house ghost? Bloody Baron, there we go. That is correct. Good job. You guys are quick. You're quick. I probably would have had to think or like Google or something. <laughs> All right, so we're using uh, black right now, the 199. Well, and I've got like, how many of these do I have? I've got like, I've got 50 of these. So we've got quite a few that should last quite a while. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, all you have to do is type in the command, Kenny. Right now my keyboard's covered up, so I can't even type in commands. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's the robot. The robots are taking over all the jobs. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, Laura Rafferty has a command in my chat. So, you know, I mean, I've co-streamed with Belinda. She has to have her own command in my chat. That's just, that's just a given. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going over where I kind of placed the black before and reinforcing that. I want to make sure we have a nice contrast for her hair. There go. Get some more of that shadow in there. Bloody Baron, that is right. Okay, let's see. What spell would you cast to get rid of a Dementor? Are you saying your chat is run by Cybermen? I'm not quite that bad yet. Besides, I feel like Daleks would probably be better at running my chat than Cybermen would. <laughs> I don't know. They just seem more intelligent. Of course, neither of them really have emotions, so that might be a problem. Can I just have David Tennant, like, co-stream with me? Could that be a thing? <laughs> I understand and agree about Belinda, all right? See, I don't, I don't have links for everyone, but definitely Belinda. <laughs> I like you, Catherine. I like you. <laughs> oh, nice, Cat. Which one was it? Which one was it? I mean, you've got a love for Star Trek. You've got uh, Catherine Janeway as your name. Like, kindred spirits. Whenever, uh, if we, whenever we have Lazi in here again, she'll probably he be here tomorrow. You should come by tomorrow because you and Lazi would get along great. Lazi is my fellow uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who fan. <laughs> All right, we're gonna darken this up by her face here, because in the picture it's pretty dark next to her face, just with shadows and whatnot. Because she is in a dimly lit castle, so you know. Oh, Shell, so I read everyone. Good night from here. Hope to catch you tomorrow. Good night, Shell. Have a great night. Yes, Expecto Patronum. Expecto Patronum. Oh, awesome, Cat. Yes, David was the best. Okay, see? Catherine, you belong here. This is your new home, by the way. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Okay, who we talked about the Marauders map already, but who gave uh who gave Harry Potter the Marauders map? Whovian, thank you, V. Thank you. See, I, I knew the word, but sometimes when I'm going, I just, you know, when you're streaming, you can't always think of the things you need to think of when you're streaming. It just doesn't come to you quick enough. <laughs> Real name is Ashley. Wish it was Catherine. I'm a huge sci-fi and fantasy nerd. Love it. Catherine, you are in good company. And Catherine, or not Catherine, Ashley, I have a little um, piece of paper on the wall here because I like to remember everybody's names. So... You are going on my wall. Would you like to go by Catherine or Ashley? Mm, there we go. Because as much as I'd like to remember everyone's name without writing it down, I can't even hardly remember the kids, all the moms at my kid's school. Like, I recognize their kid before I recognize the moms. And so, um, yes, sometimes I need a little assistance. <laughs> I've got that mom brain, you know? Fred and George, that's right, the Weasley twins. You live here now, no one escapes. Don't scare her, Tyler, don't scare her. 
Perfect. All right. Then we will call you Ashley. Welcome, Ashley, to our land of color and crazy and all things Doctor Who and nerddom. <laughs> you will be in good company here. And we usually stream about three times a week, generally about this time of night. When the kids go back to school eventually, um, that may change. But at this point with COVID, who knows when that's going to be? So in the meantime, most of the streams are on the evening. Tomorrow will be a daytime stream. But um, if you want, Ashley, there's also a Facebook group and an Instagram to uh, keep up on things. You can type exclamation point Facebook. Um, <clears throat> and I think I have an Instagram. I think it's exclamation point Instagram as well. Or, I think I have an Instagram link. I know I have an Instagram. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Add a little bit right there, shall we? She's got quite wavy hair, doesn't she? All right. Let's go ahead and dive in with some of that sepia. I can bake and cook. Earn my place. <laughs> there you go. Yes, cookies. All cookies. No, I'll miss them if you change. No, it won't be a permanent B. It won't be a permanent change B. It won't be a permanent change. Like if the kids are in school, like it would be, you know, like one of one of the days of the week we would do uh daytime streams, but Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh oh, hi Kimberly. Hello. Um all right. Next one is Okay, this one's this one's a gimme. This one's an easy one. Oh, thanks, Shannon. <laughs> yes, I have an Etsy store too. All right, this one's a bit of a gimme. All right, what Hogwarts house was Lucius Malfoy in? Well, I guess it said Lucius Malfoy, not Draco Malfoy, but still, I think it's pretty obvious. So yeah, which house was Lucius Malfoy in? We're doing all things Potter tonight. Harry Potter, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's good stuff. I need to go watch the movies now. I'm, I'm gonna have to take over our living room uh, TV this week and just go through go through the whole series. Uh, I'm using Dark Sepia now, by the way. Slytherin! Hi, Allison! Yes, it is Slytherin! Or as Jackie puts it, Slytherin! <laughs> I'm just teasing Jackie. <laughs> Snakey! I like it. Snakey. Yes, Slytherin! Slytherin, Slytherin. I've never done the test, but I've always just... if I think if I went to Hogwarts, like, I'd want to be in Gryffindor, but I'd probably end up in, like... I don't know. See, like, I feel like if I were to categorize the houses, you know, Gryffindor is, like, the brave one, you know... And, 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 uh, Slytherin's supposed to be, you know, like, the evil one. Ravenclaw, they're supposed to be, like, the smart ones. And Hufflepuff, they're, like, the, the nerdy smart ones, I think. Or, like, the goofy smart ones. I'd probably be in Hufflepuff, honestly. I mean, who are we kidding? As much as I'd like to be in Gryffindor, I'm gonna be in, like, the, the awkward one. So, Hufflepuff. <laughs> I don't know, am I wrong in my categoriz categorizations? I'd probably end up in Hufflepuff. Most likely. I don't know. I feel like Hufflepuff gets a bad rap. You know, there, there's more to Hufflepuff than meets the eye. But we did do Gryffindor themed. You'd be in Hufflepuff? I know, Allison. I know. <laughs> I like that. I like it. Hmm. One second. I'm getting a little notification here. Okay, we're good. We're good. How's the stream quality? Is the stream good? Are we lagging at all? Confession time. I've never read or seen any Harry, po any Harry Potter. Well, there is plenty of time, Ellen. You should you should get on that. <laughs> They're loyal. That's the main trait. Ah, okay. Okay, then yeah, I could do I could do Hufflepuff. I want to be in Ravenclaw, but I'd be in Hufflepuff with you. See, we're all we're all the Hufflepuff Huffle Hufflepuffers. Puffle Huffers. Oh my goodness. Actually, Puffle Huffers is probably a whole different kind of a whole different kind of one. Uh walnut brown no. Huffle puffers. And you gotta figure out what a huffle is and why they're puffing them. Okay. Stream's great. Knocks on wood. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. 
Okay, awesome. There's this, so I'm using uh, OBS Live now instead of Streamlabs, and so there was this little green box at the bottom that was like blinking red for a little bit. I'm like, oh, red's not a good color. <laughs> but it doesn't look like I have too many drop frames, so I think we're good. I'm a little, I'm a little gun shy. Internet was not nice to me last week, so I, you know, a little, a little frightened. <laughs> My internet is stressful. I mean, just kidding, internet, as I rub the computer. Please be nice. <laughs> well, I also made some changes too, like lowering the bandwidth and all this, all this good stuff. So, all right. Her hair is coming along pretty nice, actually. I'm liking it. I definitely need to add some more shadow down here. A wand should be the 30 member emoji. Ooh, that's right. Yeah, we have six more, six more members and we can get a new uh, emote. A new emote. Either that, oh! <gasps> No, Allison. Oh, I don't know if it'd be copyright though. I was gonna say we could do a TARDIS. We could do a TARDIS emote. <gasps> that would be cool. I would be all about a TARDIS emote. Maybe I should do a TARDIS emote anyway and replace one of the other ones. <laughs> but I don't know if that would be if that would be copyright or not though. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. It would be cool to have a TARDIS emote though. Very, very cool. Or maybe I can do like a a, a cartoony version of Dana, David Tennant. Ooh, a David Tennant emote. I will say some of the names y'all are calling out sound familiar. <laughs> My boyfriend came in and, in and said the way the artwork in, in the picture reminds him of Family Ties and now he's rocking around the sea. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. A little bit more. Yeah, she's coming along. She's coming along. Very uh, Hermione. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would look. I had kind of how I wanted to look in my head. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's right. That's right, Ashley, because they they weren't... Uh, I mean, police boxes are just that. They're just police boxes, right? Hmm. Yeah, David Tennant emote. Like, we could do his face, like, little spiky hair. Ooh be good but you're right you're right police boxes i don't think could be copyrighted because it's not like doctor who came up with the police box just do it and if you get caught say i don't know how that got there like i have no idea who put that there <laughs> okay let's see uh what is our next one okay here we go uh who were the four competitors in goblet of fires tri wizard tournament Okay, now we are using Burnt Sienna. All right, so who were the four competitors in the Tri-Wizard Tournament? Harry Potter! And also, raise your hand if you did not like Rita Skeeter. Or Umbridge, for that matter. Those ladies were a piece of work. <laughs> I mean, they were, you know, kind of evil. I don't know. Would you consider Rita Skeeter evil? It's not like she aligned herself with Voldemort like, you know, Umbridge did, but she was definitely... I wouldn't say she was a protagonist. I would say she was definitely an antagonist in the story. What about a deconstructed sonic screwdriver? Ooh, that could work. That could work. Oh, just found out my house. It's Hufflepuff! Nice, Angela! Harry Potter, Cedric Diggory, Fleur Delacour, and Victor Crumb. You are correct. You are correct. Right? Yeah, they're awful. Harry Crumb, Cedric, and Fleur. Potter, Cedric Diggory, Fleur Delacour, and Victor Crumb. That is correct. I wonder how she came up with these names. Victor Crumb. Like, you think she was, like, having her tea and, like, biscuits or something, and there was a crumb on the table, and she was trying to think of his last name? She's like, ooh, Crumb. Perfect. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my thought but she couldn't spell it like regular crumb you know she had to spell it you know differently so k-r-u-m he was named because of tea time or snack time <laughs> good job everyone Well, I'll have to come up with uh, some more trivia. Like, we still have a bunch here, but we'll have to come up with some more tomorrow. Maybe we'll go a little bit more difficult tomorrow. Today's like to ease us in with trivia, and tomorrow's could be a little bit more difficult. 
trap her as a beetle in a jar for a year. <gasps> That's right, Shayna. I forgot about that. Cookie crumb, exactly. Still think the worst villain was um Umbridge. Too real. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, you know, yeah, Voldemort, you know, killed people and stuff, but he was pretty hands off. She was there, like, literally torturing the children. So, yeah, that was a little bit. That's his cousin twice removed. Wait, Rita's his cousin twice removed? Or Umbridge? Wait, who's who's uh, Victor's cousin twice removed? The cookie? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. What is the spell to disarm an opponent? And we'll see if I can say it correctly. All right, Burnt Ochre. I might, uh, I might struggle to pronounce this one. Umbridge is evil. Rita was just, yeah, you're not wrong, Allison. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'm a little slow sometimes, actually. A little bit slow. Okay. All right, so like I said, this is Burnt Ochre. Add in some of that. Experiarmus! Yeah, Experiarmus. See, I knew it. I feel like, I feel like I'm missing an L. Like, I need to be pronouncing the L's a little bit more. Of course, then whenever I hear Expecto Patronum, like, I just flash back to the scene where he's like, Expecto Patronum, like, yelling it. Like, I can't say it normal. In my head, I'm just yelling it the whole time. <laughs> my neighbors are going to think I finally lost it in quarantine. I'm just, you know, standing out my front door yelling at all the neighbors, Expecto Patronum! And everybody's going to be like, what is wrong with her? I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's the way I hear it in my head. I have to say it this way. <laughs> Drop us, Wanda's. Okay, Tyler. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. What platform do students catch the Hog Hogwarts Express? On what platform? We're using Ivory now. Do the students catch the Hogwarts Express? And then all I hear is Mrs. Weasley saying it platform <laughs> this way <laughs> bummy have you seen my jumper and then her eyes get all wide like oh my god Harry's at my breakfast table he's so handsome <laughs> okay I think I'm pretty pleased with the hair for now what do we think nine and three quarters exactly <laughs> Tyler not toiler <laughs> That's right, nine and three quarters. We may end up adding a little bit more once we get to uh, to the skin, but for now, I think I am okay with this. If we do anything, it'll be maybe to darken a few spots. So, but for now, we will we will leave her hair on the cat. <laughs> there you go. That's right, our jumpers. It's on the cat, Dio. <laughs> All right, let's look at her skin tone, shall we? So, I love that there's reference pictures for this. This makes it so much easier. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. All right, so let's grab... We're definitely going to grab 189 and 132. So, 189 and 132. For sure. Thanks, Ashley. Um, we're going to grab 190. 190, okay. Let's see, 190 and I think definitely a darker brown color. I'm thinking 280. Do I have 280 out already? I do not. Okay, 280. And then we'll also grab ivory again. Okay, so here are the colors we're going to work with. We may grab more if we need them. Thanks, Ellen. We may grab more if we need them, but this is what we're going to start with. Okay, so for her skin, we're going to use Burnt Umber, Venetian Red, Cinnamon, which that does not look like cinnamon to me. That's that's, that's a, not a good name. I mean, cinnamon's like brown. You look at it in the jar, it's brown. It's not like a peachy color. Um, beige Red and Ivory. So that is 280, 190, 189, 132, and 103. Oh, awesome, Angela. I'm so glad. Yes, if you're curious what Angela is talking about, um, in the Etsy store, sidebar here, let's turn that 
down just a bit. We have stickers. So this is our newest sticker that we just put up. It is a mandala sticker. And then we have our holographic octopus. Uh, this one is, it's a glossy one, but the back behind the octopus is holographic. We have our holographic mushroom here, the mushroom fairy house. We have, um, and there's um, coloring pages to go with these as well. Not this one, but these ones have coloring pages also, which are also on the Etsy store. Um, holographic teapot fairy house. Um, holographic apple fairy house and this is kind of a running joke in the stream because until I got my kettle I heated up my tea in the microwave and so we have it as one of our emotes the teacup in the microwave emote and this one comes uh, for free if you order two or more stickers but yeah I had them out because I debated about doing a giveaway today but I might save it for tomorrow I haven't decided yet just because it's an event and events are always fun to have little extras. So we shall see. I honestly haven't decided yet. Okay. You know, I like this raspberry tea, but I swear I have been all about that hibiscus tea lately. It is so good. So good. That's right. Exclamation white lozzy. No, not the microwave. <laughs> she was very proud of me when I got, uh, when I got my kettle. Oh, thanks, Kat. Yeah, I, I really, I really enjoy them. In fact, whenever I get a new one, my kids, so my kids have a bunk bed and they demand that I put one on their bunk bed. So they're slowly getting this row of stickers all along their bunk bed. <laughs> okay, so um, we can take a look at her face, which we may use a little bit to, you know, figure out where we want to put her shadows. But obviously her face is is pointing it a different direction. So we're gonna kind of do our own thing a little bit. I'm gonna lay in the darker color first. I know a lot of times like they'll say go light to dark, but I just never have. I've always gone dark to light. It's just the way that I comfortably color things. Now I will preface this with, you know, I'm not the best at skin, but I have definitely gotten better over the years. That being said, this will be my first time doing skin with the Faber Castells. I've done skin plenty of times with other pencils, um, but I am, I am excited to try these and I've practiced with them enough. I think that we will get a pretty, uh, a result we can be happy with, I think. Okay, so next question, oh, random question. How do you tear pages out of your book so neatly? Uh, Allison, you can either use um, a X-Acto knife and put a ruler next to it and then draw your X-Acto knife along the edge. Um, I've done enough now, I just do it freehand, but yeah, I just use an X-Acto knife and just cut along the edge of the book. Odds are you're likely gonna cut the page behind it, but these days, all I ever really do is cut my pages out because it's easy enough um, to work because I've got these tripod legs surrounding me and so the books are a nightmare. And not to mention, I've never really liked coloring in books because if you color on the side that isn't laying flat, you're constantly like working over this hump. So I usually just, you know, store my pages afterwards. I've got a little file folder here that I, that I tuck everything in. And plus it's nice because I have easy access to them. Like this is the one that we're working on on other streams. Um... I got a little bit more of the gold done uh, off stream, but it's easy because I've just got it in my little folder behind her and I can just pull it out and grab it. But yeah, if anybody's curious, this is what we're working on on our other other live streams as well. And I just, you know, have them all tucked in there so I've got all of our recent uh, colorings uh, at hand. So if you wanna see the rest of that one, you can come check out the other streams as well. Okay, so let's start with Burnt Umber. Let's see. Let's see. Did we do our next one? Oh, okay. What is Neville's toad's name? There you go. What is Neville's toad's name? All right. So for the skin, we are going to go super light because I do not want to accidentally go too heavy, especially since this is such a dark brown color. So we are going to go nice and light. We can always go heavier after the fact, but I am going to go um, pretty light here to begin with. So it may not show up as much um, for now, but uh, as we layer more colors on, it'll sh it'll get a little bit stronger. Trevor, that's right. Oh, thanks, Allie. Or you can use a hair dryer and melt the glue and pull them. Ah, that works too. That works too. I bought a tiny house to try. It arrived today. I think I may have started it with too, too ambitious a kit. Which one did you get, Shazabel? 
And for anybody curious what everybody's talking about, about the tiny kit. So I did a co-stream with Belinda the other day. Grab mine real quick. It's not done yet, but we built little mini DIY uh, dollhouse kits. So this is where I'm at with mine. Like I said, it's not done yet, but it also even has... There you go. It's got working electricity. I still have all of the stuff to do this, but check this thing out. Look at how teeny tiny all of this is. And it's got teeny tiny little seed packets in here. I had to fold all these seed packets. You made the little basket, the little flower tin. Anyway, I swore I'd never do one again, but my daughter loved it so much that I got another one and we're going to do like a little pink, pink one. But I had to glue all of the f the floral stuff on here for the swing made tiny little pillows i do electrical wiring and i didn't shock myself it was absolutely amazing but yes so we made um we made tiny little diy dollhouse kits uh you can check it out over on belinda's str stream and it was it was it was pretty hilarious to be honest <laughs> i still need to finish it i do i just haven't had time but we'll get there we'll get there we'll get it done <laughs> okay so we're still using bert number and yes uh creator stage allison and shana it is trevor that's right okay so let's see are we zoomed in yes oh i think i need to refocus there we go that's better Go insane folding those seed packets. Legit insane. Yeah, uh, many of them stuck to my hands as I was doing it. And my daughter was just like, kept going, oh my goodness, because they were so small. <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're just going light, light layers here. It will get darker as we add more. But I don't want to accidentally go too dark in the beginning. And it's a lot easier to fix light layers than it is, you know, pressing too hard. You can always go back in and fix those later. Okay. Okay. I'm still on container three. You're so fast at those. You're so fast at those. I think mine is, I've like, I've just got a page of, like, books and all of this other stuff. So there's definitely a lot left to do on there. Okay, uh, who inhabits the girls' bathroom on the second floor of Hogwarts? Hogwarts? Hogwarts! No seed packets for you, I know, right? In fact, it's this very bathroom. So which ghost inhabits this bathroom that Hermione is uh, working in? I briefly thought about reading a passage from that matches up with this page, but then I wondered if that might be copyright. All right, so we're going to use Venetian Red now, number 190. Oof. Okay, so sometimes if there's too much of a point on something, especially when I'm trying to go soft, I'll color a little bit just to soften the edge so that I can go a little bit softer um, rather than having a hard point, you know? Because this is a pretty dark red, so I don't want to go I don't want to go too heavy. But obviously where her where her hair is, it's gonna be, you know, a little bit more shadowed, a little bit darker. We're gonna use this red also for a little bit of her, her cheekbone here. And like I said, we can always layer on and make her skin a little bit darker, but especially if you're like me where you're not, I wouldn't say I'm not confident, but I'm more cautious when it comes to my skin tones because I don't wanna go too far where I can't go back. So using these light layers kind of helps ease you into how it is that you want your skin tones to look, if that makes sense. There we go. We're getting there. It's slow going, but we're getting there. Moni Myrtle, that's right. That's the collar under her jaw. Yeah, this right here. Yeah. Yeah, we finally, we stared at it for a while and we're like, what is going on? So this, this here is her tie and this here is her collar. And then this is her, this is her neck here. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad, Kat. I knew that one actually, but everyone's so fast. <laughs> Okay, well here, let's do another one. Um, what do we have? 
What color is the killing curse in the Harry Potter series? And I think by that they mean the movie. I don't recall if the book talks about the color. No, they do talk about the color. That's right. I remember now. Because it talks about what color the flash is. Love watching this. I'm so petrified of doing skin tones. Skin tones can be can be intimidating because you've got this big open space. So you've got to figure out where... Because even if they drew black lines, then it'd be awkward black lines in their face. So you've got to kind of figure out, okay, where, where do I want these tones to go? There's less of a guide with skin tone, which is why it can be a little nerve-wracking. Shazabelle, yes! Shazabelle, it is green. That is correct. Okay, so cinnamon, 189. Okay. This one I think is going to be our most friendly color for her skin. I'm going to go over this again. This one's going to come up over the top of her nose a little bit. Come up under. And I'm not an expert by any means. In fact, I bet you somebody who's pretty good at doing uh, skin tones and faces are probably telling me, no, you need a color in this spot. What are you doing? Um, so this is what this is what works for me. And I'm sure that there are more gifted artists out there that could probably do this more accurate. But this is this is my method. <laughs> and then we're going to go, like I said, we're going to go back over with more layers and we'll darken all this up a little bit. I mean, we don't want it too dark because, you know, then her skin will be too dark. But I mean, you can see here, I mean, there's quite a bit of color to it. Not to mention she's got some pretty red lips, a little bit dark around the eyes. So let's see. So, so many people are, but one day you won't be. Yes, I'm also nervous doing skin tones. Yeah, skin tones are a, are a, are a big deal. And like I said, it's hard to see right now. I swear it looks darker than it is in real life. I wish I could just all have you here in the room with me. It'd be a little crowded, but then you'd see what the color actually looks like. <laughs> okay let's see so yes it was green that is correct that is correct all right uh what is Padma and Parvati's last name they are the uh characters that went with Ron and Harry to the ball in Goblet of Fire okay so beige red 132 okay we're gonna add a bit more of this now I do have a tendency to go a bit more conservative on skin tone also. So, um, yeah, because, I mean, you're not alone. It makes me a little nervous, too, just because I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up, you know. But looking at this now, I can tell we definitely can go darker when we go back around. So, close, close. Got to get the spelling right, the spelling right. You're super close, creator stage, but you're off by one letter. Also, it's not Patio Allison. <laughs> Skin color is your favorite thing to color, cat. Wow. All right, uh, ivory now. We're just gonna fill in the rest of these white spaces with ivory. Yeah, super close. Super close. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with another color here. Did they change the name of a couple of skin tone colors? Yes, uh, Ashley, they did. So I ordered mine recently, uh, post-COVID, and they ran out of pencils. So this is a more recent printing of the pencils. And they did. They changed some of the names. Like, um, they changed Indian Red to India Red. So yeah, they changed some of them to be slightly, um, I guess, less offensive uh, than... Uh... Oh, so close. That's too many L's. Too many L's. You're so close. Anybody else? Do they know how to spell the last name? I think I have salmon, and I think it's supposed to be dark flesh. Yeah, exactly. Yes, they did in the polys. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thanks, Jackie. All right, let's see. So we're back to burnt umber now. I'm gonna go a little bit darker. Not too much brown. Patil! Yes, with an I, with an I. Allison got it. There you go. P-A-T-I-L. At least that's where it is on my list. I don't know. Maybe my list is wrong. But um, yeah. I think traditionally the last name is spelled with an E. But as far as the books are concerned, they are spelled with an I. 
Okay. We are getting closer here. I don't know if you can see more of the color here. Yeah, when I said off by one letter, I just meant like one of the uh, one of the letters was misspelled. But yeah, it's just Patil with an I. But yes, you are essentially correct. <laughs> Semantics. Tiny details. Yeah, I don't want her to look like she has too broad of a nose because the character really doesn't have that broad of a nose. And I think part of it's the way she's drawn. Like, I think if it would be drawn, I think it needs to be in a little bit more to give her more of the shape that she actually has. Okay, um, what does Dumbledore tell Harry he sees in the mirror of Erised? Okay, so now we're going to grab Venetian Red again. Still going light, but even if you're going light, you're building up layers, so it's going to get darker. Like I said, if you're like me and you're not as confident with other things as you are with skin, just take it slow and kind of build up everything as you go. Color and chat with Sammy and color with Faithful Girl Belinda. They are both really good at skin tones. Oh, also Lisa Matrokin. But, like, Lisa Matrokin's art is, is a whole other, like, level. Like, she gets, she's really good at, like, realistic, um, like, shading and drawing and everything. Never been great for the realistic. And mine's more, like, recognizable, you know? Like, oh, I can tell that's an apple. <laughs> I don't think it's a real apple, but I can tell it's an apple. What the heart most of yes warm socks that's right cat socks he he sees socks in the mirror which i almost wonder i almost wonder if that's like uh foreshadowing for the fact that um harry was gonna i was thinking about that today harry was gonna need to give dobby uh, a pair of socks i don't know you think of course dumbledore is an old man i enjoy a good pair of socks so you know he's like how many hundreds of years old I don't blame him for enjoying a nice pair of socks. I definitely, I'm wearing fuzzy socks right now. It's hilarious. It's so hot here and my upper body can be so warm. But meanwhile, my feet are just like constantly cold. And so, yeah, I'm wearing fuzzy socks right now. And it's like, what's the temperature in here? Well, it's like 77 in here right now. Yeah, you know, air conditioner's going, fan's going, but, and that's in uh, Fahrenheit. But yeah, I'm wearing fuzzy socks right now. My toes are always cold. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angela. Okay, I want to go back in. Before we move to our next color, I actually want to backtrack just a little bit. And I want to grab Burnt Umber again. And I want to get a little bit darker by her hair. Just a little bit. Just wanted to keep his feet warm in that tower. Exactly. I don't blame him. I mean, can you imagine? Like, you're sure there's rugs on the floor. But, yeah, surely it's got to be pretty cold. Especially if your office is up in the top tower of a castle. Right? Yes, I know. It always seems like, oh, fuzzy socks are such a, you know, a gimme gift during Christmas. And I'm like, no, give me the fuzzy socks. I want the fuzzy socks. My feet are cold. I will wear like three pairs of fuzzy socks. Oh man, come wintertime, I am my happiest if I can wear a pair of fuzzy socks with a pair of slippers. Because then my feet are toasty. They are so, so toasty. And I will wear them like everywhere. Like, I'll even choose to like wear the slippers instead of regular shoes. In fact, um... I'm using that uh, burnt umber again, by the way. Uh, I was doing something around the house and I went to go pick up my, my daughter from school. And this is um, when she was quite a bit younger. Um, but I, I was so comfortable in my socks. Uh, when your feet are really cold, you're miserable because they hurt. Exactly, exactly. Um, but I... Uh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it because the, some of the, there's a, a pair of slippers I have that kind of have a sole underneath of them. Not like a hard sole, but you know, it's enough where you could like run to check the mailbox. Anyway, I wasn't thinking and I left the house and I wore slippers and there I am at pick, school pickup. I get out of the car to go get her and she looks at me, you know, she's pretty young at this point. She's not in grade school at any point, but she looks at me. She's like, mommy, why did you wear your slippers? Like, you know, she's little and yet I'm still this massive embarrassment because I came to school pickup in my slippers. It's like, well, I didn't mean to. They just sort of never took them off. I'm sorry. 
I love Fuzzy Socks all year long. Yes, exactly. He was lying. He actually so sees Gellert Grindelwald. Oh, that's right. How did they phrase it? He said... Oh, yeah, because it says, what does Dumbledore tell Harry? Not what did he see, but what does he tell Harry? So I guess the, the specifics again. I live in Maine. I wear them year round. Yeah, see, there you go. There you go. All right. Uh, what are the last names of Draco Malfoy's two best friends? What are the last names of Draco Malfoy's two best friends? All right, we're going to go ahead and use Venetian red again. Since we just used that brown, we're going to go back in with some of this Venetian red. Just a little bit on your cheekbone. It's kind of nice. Her face is pretty small, so it's like I said, it's a great way to kind of ease our way into coloring skin tone with these. Nothing too dramatic, no large spaces. Excuse me. I sometimes feel like the larger spaces are a little bit harder to, you know, cover the way you want them to. And if you are coloring and you feel like you put too much of one color, instead of grabbing an eraser and you'll... Dur, 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 you can if you have a mono, like a mono eraser. Where's mine? Mono eraser is... Like I've got this eraser here, which is the Derwent Electric. And where is... Oh, here it is. This is the Tombow Mono Eraser. Really tiny, really small. It's great for small little spots. But if you don't want to leave the eraser marks, what you can also do is grab like a kneaded eraser and just, you know, move it around and use it to lift the pigment off the paper. And that's usually a bit less invasive and less likely to smear the stuff that you have around it. Crab and Goyle. That's right. Crab and Goyle. Okay, let's see. The, let's go ahead and grab now our cinnamon, which is 189. Okay, what class does Hagrid teach at Hogwarts? All right, let's see. So, that's good, Kenny. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they'd be too easy or too. Some of them are, are gimmies, but yeah. And tomorrow we'll do even harder ones. Cinnamon. Well, and I had a little online help with these ones, choosing them, but I can't tell you where I got them because then you can go find the answers. So I didn't come up with these solely on my own. Truth be told, I had the idea for the trivia like a couple of hours before and I'm like, this could be fun. I mean, it's Harry Potter. We need to have Harry Potter themed trivia. Um, we're going to grab the Burnt Umber again real quick. I forgot to add a little bit darker colors here. She's got the shadow from her neck and her hair and everything. Care of magical creatures. That is correct. Good job. You guys are fast. All right, let's see. Venetian red again. A little bit on her neck. There we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and grab that cinnamon again. All right. Uh, what is the name of the sweet shop at Hogsmeade? I have to reread all the books before tomorrow's stream. You might have to, Jackie. Just, just you know, power, power read, power read. How to train your dragon egg after it hatches. There you go. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. He probably could teach that. Then he could have Norbert back. Poor Norbert. All he wanted to do was raise a dragon. I think it's funny that he referred to himself as mommy and not, or mummy, instead of uh, daddy to his dragon. I think that's cute. So I swear this looks more colorful uh, IRL than it does the camera. So like I said, I'll take a good picture of it um, when we are all done. And post it on Instagram and the Facebook group and the uh, community community page. Honey Dukes, that's right, Honey Dukes, good job. Don't want to go too heavy on the pink because then she just might look too pink, you know. I think we might leave that for now. Let's grab Ivory. Fill in. We're going to kind of go over everything, actually, real quick. 
I could probably go more dramatic with the colors, but I just don't want to ruin it, you know? Um, let's grab, let's grab Walnut Brown for her eyebrows. Hagrid is your favorite character? I know, he's so lovable. Yeah, because her eyebrows are pretty dark, so we may let's grab a little bit of sepia here. There we go. Okay, we need to do her lips. Her lips are pretty, pretty red. Let's grab a little bit of burnt umber, just a little bit, a little bit on her bottom lip, in the corners, just a bit. Okay. The moment when you're coloring, drop the pencil on the hardwood floor and you silently pray you didn't break the tip. Oh no, I can't, I can't talk, uh, Ashley, because when I got these pencils at least twice, I accidentally dumped like the whole tin. I didn't mean to, but it was after that that I was like, I just need to order myself a case. I just need to suck it up and get it done. <laughs> We're not coloring the whole lip. We're leaving a little bit of a highlight. It's, there's, you know, it's a small, it's a small thing, but we want to make sure that we can leave... A little bit there. All right, and let's use, uh, what is this? Beige Red 132. Right there, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. And in fact, do we want to grab... No, no. Why don't we just take our Venetian Red one more time? And we're going to go just a little bit darker. There at the corners. And where the lips meet. There we go. All right, there we go. Hi, Shara. You're editing a vid. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, what does Dumbledore leave Ron in his will? Okay, this is going to be from one of the last movies or last book if we're talking books. So, what does Dumbledore leave Ron in his will? All right, let's see. What color are her eyes? It doesn't really show. We're going to leave her eyes for now. So let's move her on down a little bit. Let's do this. So we definitely need ivory. I think we're going to need this brown. Ooh, close, Shazabel. Close. Think opposite of that, Shazabel. Think opposite of that. Let's see. Ooh, you're close, creator stage. You're so close. Deluminator. There we go. Deluminator. That's right. It's not the illuminator. Deluminates things. It uh, turns things up. Well, technically it turns off and turns on. And also puts a light in his chest to help him find Hermione because she's his love. <laughs> Tales of Beetle the Bard? Not quite. He left Hermione the Tales of Beetle the Bard because, well, she said it was because she loved books. But that's what uh, helped them with the Deathly Hollows. That's good. That's good, Shazabelle. Uh, okay, so for the shirt, we want it to look white, but we also need a little bit of brown. Let's see, is this 178? No, that's 179. You know what we want? We want 178, which is, okay. So here's the thing. Hi, Rosemary. I call this nougat. I can't help it. It's spelled N-O-U-G-A-T. And it's because, you know, I grew up hearing about the nougaty center of a candy bar. So let it be known, I have been corrected that it's pronounced nougat, but I cannot bring myself to say it. It just feels weird saying it. Sorry, I'm also seeing this. I want to fix this for a second. I, I can't bring myself to say nougat. It just feels weird. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just... I'm, I'm going to say nougat. I, I apologize to everyone who knows that I'm wrong and is cringing every time I say it, but I can't help it. I got to say nougat. So we're using nougat. <laughs> 178 okay and ivory 103 we'll go ahead and grab let's see let's grab 270 which is warm gray okay we'll grab white i don't know how much we're actually going to use it you say it the same okay i'm glad i'm not alone i think it's an american thing we just can't help it I pronounce it like you, it's how I learned it. Exactly. Even the commercials say it that way. So I'm, I'm leaving it nougat. 
I like pronouncing the G and the T. Well, I guess you still pronounce the G with the other way, but I like pronouncing the T. But the funny thing is, is that it's got an A and I'm pronouncing it like it's an I. So it's like, maybe I should say nougat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's just start with these four colors here. I say the same thing. It's American thing. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> All right, so warm gray one, 270. Ivory, 103. Nougat, 178. And white is number 101, okay? So let's shift these other ones out of our way. We got me drinking tea, so I figure it's a start. It's a start. All right, let's see. What is our next question here? I say it like that, throw everyone off, call it nugget. I'm down with that. They could call it nugget. <laughs> All right. Uh, at what store does Harry Potter get his wand? Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo! You see that? Dropped the pencil, but I caught it. Caught it in my lap. No breakage here. I'm punchy tonight. Oh, you're in good company. You are in good company, uh, Ashley. There's a... Uh, I say nougat. There we go. We're not alone. Uh, maybe, uh, probably not tomorrow because it's day drinking, but you got to catch me on a day where <laughs> theater kid sarcasm coming out. I like it. Uh, on a evening where I have a, a little bit of wine as well. It always gets a little punchy in here. Ollivanders. That's right, Jezebel. All right, so here we go. Um, so we're going to start with Nougat, number 178. Okay, we're going to go real light because this is technically supposed to be a white shirt. We don't want her to look like she's wearing a dirty shirt, but it is, there is a bit of shadow. And in fact, I think we should also grab another gray color. That's right, Ollivander's. Nuga for me, yeah. See, Belinda does such a good job of pronouncing it. Uh, she was pronouncing it on her stream the other day. I was like, aw, she makes it sound like such a pretty word. I feel like I should be trying a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, I'm actually gonna grab Warren Gray 5, 274 real quick, and we're gonna use that a little bit here as well. I don't want the brown to make it look like she's wearing a dirty shirt, but there is some shadow. I don't know, after I'm finished my tea, maybe we'll have to take a short break. I'll have to go get some wine. <laughs> okay. A little bit there. All right, let's grab our nougat one more time. A little bit here. Well, I am thinking after stream, some leftover pizza is in order. We got some pizza yesterday. I got chicken and red peppers and onion. I really like that kind of mix. <laughs> Belinda, I'm glad you like that. You say it's so pretty. All right. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to warm gray one, 270. And our next question is, where does Dumbledore keep his memories? Where does Dumbledore keep his memories? All right, so 270, not pressing super hard. Kind of working from the top down here. Just a little bit, not much. Pensive, is it pensive or pensive? Probably pensive, but pensive makes me think it's the word that's pensive. Is anyone coloring a Harry Potter page? I am, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad, Queen Cats. Uh, okay, Ivory. Well, you know, we were talking about it the other day and it's nice because it's one of the reasons I like doing lives rather than just uploading videos because it's literally like we're just talking with friends. We're all at a coffee shop hanging out together. And since nobody can go to a coffee shop and hang out together unless you live in New Zealand because apparently they've nearly eradicated the whole thing, um, you know, it's the next best thing. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to put on real pants. You don't have to wear makeup. Heck, you don't even have to shower. You could all be stinky right now, and I wouldn't even know. And honestly, I wouldn't even care. Just be stinky. Be stinky and wear pajamas all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do warm gray five. Warm gray five. No promises. It's on really late here. Pensive. Yeah, pensive. 
And I do why I'm awake. It's Lazi. Hi, Lazi. How are you? We have mentioned you a couple times in here. Lazi, I showed off my book. Lazi, has yours arrived yet? Has yours arrived yet? Look, it's it's Doctor Who. It's Doctor Who. Yeah, I think you're right, Shazabel. It's the Doctor Who book. Um, I mean, I know I sent you a picture of it, uh, but we're also talking. Oh, that's a something else. <laughs> it was attached. It was a craft with the kids. Um, but we also uh, were talking about our next um, emo should either be a David Ten and I walk in to be stinky. Great. You know what? The, the more stink, the better. You just, you stink it up. No, no judgment here. No judgment. It's 2020. No judgment. <laughs> uh, but we're thinking our next emote should e be either a David Tennant emote or a TARDIS emote. What are your thoughts, Lazzie? <laughs> okay, let's grab our colors for her tie, shall we? I don't want to add too much color. We could always go back in and add some more later. Like, actually... There should probably be a little bit more shadow here. Exclamation point shadow. Meow, meow. <laughs> um, but we'll grab her tie color here. Yeah, because there's a little bit of shadow underneath her collar. So I think of every time I use the word shadow as I think shadow. Meow, meow. <laughs> yes, it arrived. Remember I sent you a message saying it arrived and you like the message? I might have, Lazzie. I think we've all established my memory is crap, so I apologize. So yay, it's right. <laughs> oh, my word. I'm special. I'm very special. <laughs> okay. What device did Hermione use in Prisoner of Azkaban to attend multiple classes at the same time? What device did Hermione use in Prisoner of Azkaban to attend multiple classes at the same time? I'm definitely up for a David Tennant, e David Tennant emote. Yes, yes, most definitely, most definitely. Okay, so now it's time for a little bit of Hogwarts color Doo -doo 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 for her tie. This has been so much fun, but sadly I must be off. Did you say there was another stream tomorrow? Yes, Creator Stage, I will be live at 3 p.m. Um, U.S. Central Time, so that will be uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 2 p.m. Western Time, and 9 p.m. UK Time. Yes, the Time Turner. Shazabel, you must not have very much delay. You're doing awesome. Fabiana drew her neck really weird. Oh, for, for this? Well, this is from the Harry Potter coloring book. This isn't uh, mine, but yeah, or from hers. I've had four hours sleep, so I'm okay. I need to be up in two hours anyway. Oh no, Lazzy. Do you need do you need some more sleep? Time turner, that's right. All right, so let's look at our color chart here and grab our Gryffindor colors. Definitely 183. Do I have 183 out already? I do not. Okay, here we go. 183. Sounds good, Jackie. Have a great night. 183, we have light yellow ochre. And let's grab, do we have 182 out already? We do not. Here we go. All right, 182, which is brown ochre. Okay. And we'll use cream, I believe. So that's 102. Oh, awesome, Creator Stage. Well, we will see you tomorrow. And there's going to be stuff going on all weekend. Um, so if you guys are interested on who's next, who's going to be, um, uh, you know, on for the rest of the weekend, you can type in exclamation point Harry for the schedule, or it's also in the description below. So exclamation point Harry. Um, if you're curious about the book I'm using, you can type in exclamation point, I think it's exclamation point Harry CB. So the letter C and B, so coloring book. Um, I had to have a difference between that. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Only just got here. <laughs> well, Jackie is leaving. Jackie is leaving. Okay, now we need kind of our maroonish color. So let's grab 263. 263. Kaput Mortem Violet. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm a blend of Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. I like that. Okay, so 263. And let's grab one... Hmm. We want 192 or 225. Hmm? Let's grab. Ooh, for that one? No, let's grab 225. Ah, I'm trying to decide. Yeah, 225. 
Sometimes my mind works too fast. It's like, no, grab that one. Grab that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did I say? 225. Dark red. Okay, 225. And I need a third color. Let's do 121. 121, which is Pale Geranium Lake. So let's sharpen this one. I haven't used this color yet. The dead purple color. I know, right? That's exactly what it is. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, everyone. It's Steve. Hi, up right there. <laughs> hey, Steve, you feel like getting me a glass of wine? Uh, what? Uh, what do we... Uh, let me feed the cats first. Yeah, and then why don't you tell me what I have in there? Because I can't remember which one it was that I liked. I have wine. a couple. In well, yes, they're all wine. And it's kitty snack time. Just nap for two hours. He should be good. All right, that sounds good. All right. Oh, I don't know if anybody can hear them. Meow, meow. Meow. Very, very vocal cats. It is time to eat. Feed me. Feed me, humans. You have no job other than to feed me. Okay, let's see. What color? Here's, a, here's another one, okay? Oh, Patty says, hi, Steve. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Thank goodness someone else calls. Oh, Lozzie says, hi, Steve. Hi, Lozzie. <laughs> cat treat time already. I know, right? Well, it's like 15, 15 till 10, but I swear my cats can tell time. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. So, what color is Harry's jumper from Mrs. Weasley? Yes, exclamation point snack. Matter. <laughs> Queen Cat says, hi, Steve. Hi, Queen Cat. <laughs> and when you have their own color and chat channels. Oh, there's a number of them in here. In fact, we've got a number of people in here. If you have a channel... Why don't you throw up three emotes of any kind, whether it's hearts, whether it's you've got the member emotes, whatever you want. Throw up three hearts and uh, let everybody know if you've got a... Uh, oh, and Lozzy says, hi, cats. <laughs> let everyone know if you have a channel. And definitely, if you haven't, follow uh, Belinda. She is going to be on after me. Okay, so Caput Mortem Violet. I mean, we're supposed to be done at 10, but we got the hour leeway time and Steve's going to get me a glass of wine. So we're not going anywhere. I'm having a good time. All right, so Caput Mortem Violet, um, the dead purple color, 263. But yeah, so let's see, what was the question? The question was, oh, what color is Harry's jumper from Mrs. Weasley? There we go. There's our three emotes. All right, everyone, give them a follow. I'm going to have to go back and re-watch this, and then everyone that's thrown up an emote, I'll, uh, I'll go and follow. But, um, yeah, so what color is Harry's jumper that Mrs. Weasley gives him for Christmas? Okay, I'm going to make you sound like a bit of a wino here. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait, uh, this one. Home Rose. No, no, the red one. The red one. This one? Yes, I want that one. Are you one. sure you That's don't want the sparkling apple juice? The sparkling apple juice belongs to the kids. That's not even alcoholic. No, I want the sangria. Okay. Yeah. Emily's on the wine again. Hey, you know what? It's Friday and it's the Harry Potter call. I bet Hermione would be drinking wine while she's, you know, who knows? Maybe she's actually brewing up wine in here. She's got like a separate cauldron for, uh, for, for all of her, you know, wine making potions. <laughs> green? Yes, it is green, which is funny because it's zealy green, but yes, it's green. No, not maroon. Ron's is maroon. Ron's is maroon. Um, yeah, I wish they hadn't got rid of those three dots where we go just directly to someone's channel. Right? Yes, the sangria is so good. Yes, his sweater is green. Okay, so we, <laughs> I'm gonna make you sound like a wino. I don't know, right? Gotta love Steve. <laughs> so if anybody's curious who Steve is, Steve is my husband. Steve is not actually his name, but everybody felt weird calling him husband. Thanks, Steve. Mm -hmm. Okay, now my goal is just not to spill this on the picture all right the wine has landed <laughs> i think i'm gonna get a glass of wine now do it do it ron drove her to the wine i know right um but uh steve is my husband and rather than call him husband we gave him the name steve uh but he was on the stream the other day and uh he colored with me so that was a pretty fun stream despite the fact that we disconnected but i have since hopefully Fingers crossed, fix the internet for that one. Um, but yes, don't let Steve judge you. I know, right? <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. Looking awesome. I have to run. Got to grab lunch before stream. Sounds good. Sounds good. Green to match his eyes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we are on to multiple choice questions. Okay. So I'll read them slowly. I'll read them slowly. All right. So this question is, who teaches Harry how to play wizard's chess? A, Hagrid. B, Hermione. C, Ron. Or D, Dudley. Okay, so I'll repeat it again. The question is, who teaches Harry how to play wizard's chess? A, Hagrid, B, Hermione, C, Ron, or D, Dudley? We might need a wine emote. Oh my goodness, we need so many more emotes. So many more. Like, I feel like there's so many situations that we need to do this. You are correct. It is Ron. And we're using dark red 225 right now. It is Ron. It is, it is. And I'm going over the Kaput Mortem just a little bit because I want this to be a little bit more um, red. Just a bit. Just a tad. It's a trick question. Wizard's chest isn't real. It is too real, Steve! Don't you be telling me Harry Potter stuff isn't real! It's real! <laughs> You are all correct. It is C. Ron. There we go. Every time you guys get one right, I'll take a sip. Does that work? Will I be smashed before the end of stream? Either that. Well, I won't drink any more than one glass, so, you know. <laughs> all right. Oh, there you go, Lazi. You got a, you got a wine emo. Perfect. All right. Next one is... When is Harry Potter's birthday? A, December 31st. B, June 31st. C, July 31st. Or D, August 31st. Hi, Anne. <laughs> Steve, you can't sit with us, right? Steve banned from Potterthon for that comment. I know, right? You don't even go there. <laughs> That's right. You can't sit with us. He doesn't even go here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, seriously, Ashley, you you are you are amazing. Lazi, you should know Ashley also uh approves of Doctor Who. Also, also, she likes Doctor Who. She is in good company here. That is right, July 31st. July 31st. Steve, you can't go here. What? You can't go here. You can't say that about Harry Potter. You're... His birthday is obviously July 9 and 3 fourths. You are fired from the Potterathon. <laughs> okay, I should probably sip that. Maybe it's a bad idea to take a sip after every single one you get <laughs> right. I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna take my time drinking this. I think last time I drank the last glass over the course of the full two hours. Okay, so this was a uh, pale geranium lake. Pale geranium lake. There we go. And it looks a little bit more red than I'd like, so we might add a bit more Kaput Mortem. It, it's perfect. It's per it's the same as J.K. Rowling. That's right. You are in good company, Ashley. Most definitely. Back off, Steve. I know, right? Another member of the Doctor Who Club. Yay! Okay, uh, next question. Who teaches the history of magic history of magic at Hogwarts? A. Professor Flitwick. B. Professor Sprout. C, Professor Vector, or D, Professor Bins? Admiral, I salute you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to use brown ochre. Here we go. Little bit on the tie. The more I drink, the more I will sing, whether or not it makes any sense. <laughs> Game, every time Steve is fired, you take a drink. Oh my goodness, I would be smashed by the time I finish this tie, <laughs> Ashley. Steve, I like your way of thinking. Very contemporary, J.K. Rowling, all over the news day. Ah, uh, yes, you know, I saw that. I saw that, but the Harry Potter colorathon was already planned, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it. Uh, Flitwick, not Flitwick. Let's see, where's my, where's my question? There it is. Yes, Shazabelle, it is Professor Bins. Professor Bins. No, wait, Flitwick is Charms. Oops, there you go. 
Yes, Professor Bins. Professor Bins. He he teaches the history of magic. And like, I couldn't even think. Is there even a Professor Vector? I don't think there's a Professor Vector. All right. Uh, next question. Who was not at the Dursleys the night Harry's parents died? Let's see. Or, or okay, let me reread that. I was reading that wrong. Okay, so who was not at the Dursleys the night Harry's parents died? A. Albus Dumbledore. B. Sirius Black. C. Rubius Hagrid. Or D. Minerva McGonagall. So who was not at the Dursleys the night Harry's parents died? Let's see. Doctor Who fans, where do you all watch the show if you're in the U.S.? Is it on a streaming service? So, Shayna, they just changed it. It used to be... We're using Light Yellow Oko, by the way. It used to be on Amazon, but um, they got... It got bought from them um, by HBO Max. So that is where Doctor Who is going to be now. I think HBO Max is on now. Um, but it's... Yeah, that is the streaming service it is currently on. Unless you just want to buy all of the seasons off Amazon. But yeah, it is on HBO Max now. And I'm on media blackout. What happened? Well, it's it's a little it's a little bit of a touchy subject, Patty. So if you guys want to chat about it, just uh, chat about it outside of chat. But you could Google it and, and find what's going on. Yes, he teaches arithmetic. <laughs> That's right. Sirius Black was not there. Sirius Black was not there. All right. So cream one hundred and two. I'm just gonna fill that in there. Okay, I want to darken up her tie just a little bit. So we are going to grab uh, Walnut Brown real quick. Okay. And we are going to fill that in. That's one nice thing about streaming at night is that I can't, uh, I don't feel bad for having a glass of wine. <laughs> it's night time. Also, even if I did, you know, I stream around the world. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> All right, 263. 263. We're going to fill that in a little bit more. Give a little bit darker red. And then a uh, pale geranium lake. There we go. Okay, what do we think? Good tie? Are we good? There we go. She's coming along. She's looking a little bit more like Hermione. I still feel like I might go in and darken up her hair in some spots, but we'll see. I sometimes feel like if I work it too much, then I get it to a point where I don't like it. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's see. Next one is... Okay, this is a who said this question, okay? Who said this? I am good looking enough for the both of us. A, Draco Malfoy. B, Ron Weasley. C, Ginny Weasley. Or D, Fleur de la Cour. So it's, it's who said this. I am good looking enough for the both of us. Who said it? Let's see. Giant symbol crash in the music. Me, Star Wars? Also me, wrong fandom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I tried to find, like, generic, uh, generic Harry Potter. Flora de la Cour. That's right, Chaz Chazabel, I think that you have got, like, practically no lag on your end. That's amazing. Like, I'm used to, like, the full 20 seconds, but you're quick. You're quick. And yes, it is Flora de la Cour. That is correct. All right, let's see. So she's got this line on her sweater. In the picture, she's got red on either side and then yellow in the middle. But they don't really leave that leeway in the picture. So here is what we're going to do. I think we will color this line yellow and then we may outline it in kind of the dark red. Maybe, actually it is called dark red. So maybe in 225, we may outline this so it's a little bit more accurate. Okay, so for now, we're going to grab burnt ochre. Okay, let's see. I guess it goes all the way up there. Yeah, let's just start here and we'll pull a little bit of red here and then we'll add her sweater there. Okay, so burnt ochre here and here. Okay. A little bit there. I knew the answer before you finished the question, to be fair. I'm a bit of a sad Potterhead. That is not sad at all, Shazabel. You are just fine. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Sip of water real quick. Okay. Um, which of these spells is an unforgivable curse? A. Sectum Sempra. B. Crucio. C. Expecto Patronum. Or D. Stupefy. 
Which of those is a unforgivable curse? Um, light yellow ochre is what we're using now. Mm, let's bring that down just a little bit more. There we go. All right, and then cream. Water here meaning wine. No, actually, I did take a sip of water there all s for a second because wine doesn't do a lot to uh, if you've got a dry throat. In fact, I feel like it makes it drier. Let's see. I'm answering in my head. I'm having typing issues tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is right. It is Crucio. I wondered if Sectum Sempra would throw anyone a little bit because although uh, we're grabbing light yellow ochre again, although it is um, a pretty gnarly spell, it is not an unforgivable curse. Although I would not want that one cast on me in any way, shape, or foam. Not shape or foam. Shape or form! Shape or form! <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not the wine, I swear. I just can't talk. Words are hard. All right, we're going to put some of this Kaput Mortem Violet here. Okay, and we are going to add a little bit here. And here. We'll make our own lines here, okay? So right now... I know I'm saying it weird. Um, it, it, it happens. <laughs> All right. And then dark red 225. I'm actually not going to use the lighter red here because it's pretty dark on her sweater. There we go. Little bit, little bit. There we are. What are we thinking so far, huh? She's not too shabby. She's coming along. She's coming along. We could definitely go darker on her skin. I don't know. I'll take a picture of it when we're all done and we can kind of see then. But I definitely see spots where we could go a little bit darker. Step away from the wine. Cut off already. I've had like four sips. It's four sips. Words are hard. Words are hard. I've literally got like a little bit of my tea left. I got my water. I got my wine. I got like three glasses. You know, I'm going to jinx myself here and end up dumping it all over. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some wild gesture. And next thing you know, it's going to be all over the floor. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to move on to her sweater. Her sweater is like a navy gray. A navy gray. So we've got this going on. There's definitely a little bit of blue. So let's grab... Let's see. What do we have here? What do we have? Um... Oh, definitely 157. That's a that's a gimme. There's no question about that one. Dark indigo. Yes. Most def. Yes. Uh, dark indigo. We definitely want some grays here. So let's grab dark indigo. Let's grab 235. We have 235 out. No, we do not. Okay. So 235. Okay. Let's grab. More of a warm gray. Let's grab 232. How'd you do the stripes on your nails? Uh, with uh, stamping. So I have... Here we go. So I have this silicone stamper here. Right here. And I have this plate here. And then I've got this little scraper. And then I use... Well, wherever my nail polish is, it's buried. Uh, I will say this is the top coat that you want. I've tried so many top coats and this is the only one that I found that doesn't smear um, the stuff after you do it. Um, you have to, there's certain nail polishes that are better for stamping than others. Um, but uh, this one is Maniology. M-A-N-I-O-L-O-G-Y. But basically what you do is you take your nail polish and you paint it onto the palette. Then you take your scraper and you scrape it across. And basically what you're doing is you're leaving the polish in here, but you have to do this quick. So once you paint your polish on the plate, then you scrape it like so, get it in there. Then you quickly bring this over and you can see it's kind of a mess. But anyway, you quickly bring this over and you press down. And if you've done it correctly, the design will come up. And really, you have to fiddle with the kind of uh, polish that you're using. Not all of it works. But once you have it on your stamper, then you can use it. Once it's on here, then you have a little bit of time to spare. And you can use a Q-tip and kind of clean up the spots where you want it. Or if you don't want a part that maybe gets on your nail. Then you have your nail set. You place it where you want. And get the one that you can see through the bottom because it helps you place it a little bit better. And you place it and you press down. And then when you lift it up, 
then it should be on the top. Then you put a coat of the smudge free top coat on the Maniology and then I usually add a second coat of whatever um, clear coat I'm using on the rest of my nails. Um, it's a little time consuming depending on um, the polish that you use. You know what polish I've actually found works really well and it's a pretty inexpensive polish is this brand here. The Sinful Shine, like it's Sinful Nails is what it is. Let's see, uh, here's a, this one. Yeah, so sinful, sinful Colors. Not all are creative equal, but this is the most, um, this is the one that has worked the most for most of the nail stamping. I haven't done any nail stamping recently aside from this one just because I took a break from it because it was a little bit more time consuming. Um, but if you want a really good nail polish also, I highly, highly recommend, especially if you like sparkle. I know they were talking in uh, Reading with Pugs chat about glitter nail polish and how it's hard to clean off. So these run about $10 per bottle. So I don't get them very often. I'm very specific about the colors that I get from them. But the brand is ILNP. And these are great. You can get holographic. You can get glitter. Let's see this one. This one's a holographic. So it's like I got this color for the steampunk colorathon we had. So it's like brown and green. It's really pretty. Uh, the green's really bright. This is a nice color too. Um, what else do I have? I probably have too much nail polish to be perfectly honest. Uh, this is a blue and these are like polishes I've got over the course of a couple of years. Um, this is a nice orange one. This one's a berry, I think, or no, this one's called page, but it's like a berry color anyway. Um, but these are really good. If you're just starting out, they're not super durable and they're probably going to wear away quicker, but the Insta dries are also good. The only thing I don't like about these is that the brush tips are a little bit wide. And so there's more of a chance that you can get some on the outside of your fingers to have to clean up. But um, the Insta dry is what I did for the red. And I want to say Essie was the brand for the yellow. I'm not a huge fan of Essie, but this particular color worked well. Sorry, little tangent on uh, nail polish. <laughs> I like nail polish. Okay, um, let's grab 247. The more she drinks, the more voices she does. Although really, I'm not tipsy like at all. I've literally had just a couple sips. I'm just having fun. There's a difference. There's a difference. Um, let's also grab 146. 146, 146, 146. That's 145, 149, 146. Oh, right, wait. Oh, Canadian, gotcha, gotcha. I, I see. Most people think Maine is in Canada, to be fair. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Oh, wait, what did I say? Spilling the tea. Hey, you were asking about those loose leaf teas earlier. David's tea can order online. Oh, yes, Ashley. Um, there's another viewer here, Emma. She sent me a nice long email. I need to respond to her. But yeah, she said David's tea too. So I want to take a look on there and order some teas. Um, I've just started, you know, trying new ones. Right now, my uh, favorite tea so far is this hibiscus tea that I found. It's like sweet, but it's really nice. 146, 146. I know it's like I'm calling bingo numbers or something. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at her sweater here. She definitely has some darker, like almost blackish areas. So I think actually we are gonna use a little bit of black. So these are the colors we have chosen for her sweater so far. So we have 199, 157, 235, 247, and 146, okay? And time for a little sippy sip. <laughs> Mm, I love sangria. It's so tasty. So tasty. Um, okay, let's see. Next question while we start adding in some of our darker colors. Okay, so where did we leave off at? Okay, here we go. This could be a trick question. Okay, so who said this? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. A, Harry Potter. B, Gilderoy, Gilderoy Lockhart. C, Ronald Weasley or D, Hermione Granger? Hmm? Who said it? I guess the question should be, who said it first? All right, we're gonna rephrase that. Who said it first? Hermione started out, in the, started out the year of the black sweater, but it faded in the wash after potions class. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's right. Hermione. Because technically Ron did say it, but he said it because he was making fun of Hermione. Mino Ron. 
Ron, why are you so mean? <laughs> All right, so black number 199. It's just because he had a crush on her. Actually, he might have been legitimately annoyed with her on that one. Even I know that one. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> That's right. Hermione. Hermione. I like it. <laughs> oh, Ashley, promise me you'll come back. You are you are so much fun. <laughs> I feel like you, me, and Lazi could like have a ball if we met up face to face. Okay. Um, let's see. What is next? Which of the following is not a trait of Slytherin House? A, determination, B, cunning, C, ambition, or D, wit? Which of the following is not a trait of Slytherin House? Okay, so we're starting out with black. Make sure, try not to cover up what I'm doing, I apologize. There we go. We wouldn't get anything done. We'd all be laughing on the floor. Facts. Facts. Yes, Shazabelle. It is wit. Wit is correct. Yep, D. Oh, see, that's right. Uh, yeah, Cat got it first. There you go. But yes, it is wit. All right. Sounds good, Shazabelle. Get some rest. Thanks for being here. Remember, tomorrow we'll be live again uh, at 3 p.m., U.S. Central Time. We're just going to use black all along this edge here. There we go. Coming along. It's coming along. A bit darker there. I'm surprised at how much I remember about Harry Potter. It's been 20 years since I read the books with my son. I haven't watched all the movies. You know, it kind of sticks with you. That's right. Wit is Ravenclaw. I live in the Northwest and it's beautiful here, but I always wanted to go to Maine ever since I was a teenager. Oh, Angela, I am from the Northwest also. I grew up in Oregon and I absolutely love it. It'd be wonderful to move back there someday. It's so gorgeous. I loved being able to just go to the beach and... It's funny, though, because I, I'm not used to beaches where the water is actually warm. I'm used to where the beaches are cold, so that's what I prefer. Like, I am in my best mood on a nice rainy day. Like, no joke. Chaz, now who am I going to copy off the answers? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. She's very quick. She's very quick. All right, so we're just laying in our darkest colors right now. But honestly, I'm really pleased with how this is turning out. It's really coming together. And I want to go to the Northwest. <laughs> it is so pretty up there. Like, so many trees in Oregon. I love it. No, Emily, you're moving to the UK where the beaches are cold also. Remember? That's right. That's right. No, I told my husband, I was just like, would you be down with getting a summer house in... Uh... Let's see, this needs to be... He's be like, I was like, would you be down with getting a, a summer home in, uh, in the UK? And he's like, yeah, why not? All right. So um, whenever we become rich and famous, we will get a summer home in the UK and we'll, be com we'll come and visit. It's been rainy for three days now. See, I love that. That would put me in such a good mood. <laughs> See, we're down in Texas right now where it's just so dang hot. And so, you know, we're cooped up anyway because it's just too hot. Although I will say it cooled down this evening, but we had to like have, make sure we had the mosquito repellent on because even when it's cooler, you're still contending with all just the horrid mosquitoes. They're just terrible. Terrible, terrible. Okay, let's see. What else do we have on here? We have got... Uh... Which animal does Hermione become when she takes Polyjuice Potion in Chamber of Secrets? This one here. Um, a, a toad. B, a cat. C, a rat. Or D, an owl. 
Which animal does Hermione become when she takes Polyjuice Potion in Chamber of Secrets? But where in the UK? Well, wherever you're at, Lazzy. <laughs> Somewhere where I can go within driving distance of Scotland. I definitely want to go to Scotland, too. Well, I mean, I've been there, but I want to go back to Scotland. I just did not get to see enough. I miss it. I miss it! <laughs> I ordered my polychromos from an art shop in Oregon, so if I moved there, I'd be broke. Yeah, yeah, I got Oregon, Bigfoot, yes, Sasquatch. My husband has a hat that says Gone Squatchin'. <laughs> Pacific Northwest, yep. Yep, that's exactly where I'm from. Love it, love it, love it. See, because I don't think um, our family would be very happy if we moved to the UK, but if we just got a summer home and just spent the summers in the UK... I wouldn't mind living in Texas because we'd be gone for the Texas heat. That's the plan, okay? Summer home in the UK. I am down with that. I am down with that. That's right, cat. Sorry, I realized everybody was like, why is everyone typing cat? And I realized that was the answer to the question. <laughs> yes, the answer is cat. Kitty cat. Meow, meow. Exclamation point shadow. Meow, meow. If anybody's curious, Shadow is Belinda's cat, and uh, we have a command in her chat because Shadow is very vocal. Very, very vocal. Also, I gotta keep an eye on the time. I love everything Bigfoot slash Sasquatchy. Not near me, then. Would take you nine hours to drive to Scotland. That's nothing, Lassie. That's just a day trip. That's good. You gotta remember, Lassie, I live in Texas. It takes nine hours to get anywhere in Texas. <laughs> Okay, that's a lie. I could get to Houston in a couple hours and Austin in like three hours, but still. That's like, you know, get a hotel and stay for a couple days. So, yeah. I don't think I'd want to get a place too close to London because the cost would be so high. So I'd have to look at like cost of homes. I mean, if I was looking at it practically. And I realize we missed a spot there for her hair. Let's grab... Uh, let's grab Burnt Sienna. What is that show that's about Sasquatch? Why am I drawing, um... Oh, Finding Bigfoot. Jean, did you ever watch Finding Bigfoot? My husband and I get such a kick out of that. Go to Cardiff, BBC Capital, and then eight hours to anywhere? Yes. Okay, I will get a summer home in Cardiff. <laughs> I watch and listen to Bigfoot daily on YouTube? That's awesome. Wait, y'all are cat people? My kitty has been staring at me because it's 11.15 and we aren't in bed. <laughs> That is not a day trip. That is a lifetime for a UK person. I know, right? When I think I mentioned this, but when we went to um, Scotland, we drove to Dune. We were in Aberdeen. We drove to Dune, which was like three hours. And I was talking to my friends and they're just like, wait, you did that in one day? I'm like, yeah, it was only three hours. Like, it's not that big of a deal. And they're like, oh my God. And I'm like, you know, it, it takes forever to get anywhere in Texas. So, you know, day trip is fine. Well, not like a full day trip. Like we wouldn't come back, but I mean, we could get there in a day. Just get up early, you know, leave the house at like seven or eight. You're there by late afternoon, you know, catch dinner or whatever. And then, you know, spend the next two days there and then drive back a couple days later. Angela, let's go squatching. <laughs> oh, of course it was, Jean. That was the hilarity of it. Yes, the Doctor Who thing is in Cardiff. That is true. That is true. Lazi, how far from Cardiff are you? We could do Cardiff. We could defo do Cardiff. Could be an honorary Brit. Lazi, can you make me an honorary Brit? What uh, what tasks do I need to do? I, I already like tea, and I'm I'm slowly getting schooled in the way of making tea correctly. So you know I'm getting there. What what else do I need? I feel like if I did an accent, I'd just offend everyone. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but you're nowhere near Cardiff either, <sighs> Lazi. Lazy. Okay, how about this? We get a summer home, and then I let uh, Steve take care of the kids for like a week, and I come up and see you. That could work. Or you come see me. One of the two. I'm getting a house in the UK! <laughs> America has weird creatures people are discovering. Well, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, seriously, husband has a gone squatching hat. It's pretty hilarious. Oh, Lazy, four or five hours? What do you mean nowhere near you? That is a day trip. I could come up and see you in four or five hours. Easy, easy. Just get up early. My dad would always travel what he called at dark 30, and uh, which was usually about 3.30 in the morning, which was a crack too early for me. But I could leave at like 6 a.m., be there by lunchtime. Are you kidding me? 
stay all afternoon. If we were going to do it in a day, I could leave by 6 a.m., get there before lunch. We could have lunch, hang out all afternoon, and then I leave at like 8 p.m. and then be home by midnight. Easy. Easy. I think I'm two hours from Ocean Shores. How far am I? Corpus Christi is... I think close. No, Galveston, I think, is closest to me. I live in Vancouver, BC, and I could drive to Oregon in a few hours. Yes, when I was in Oregon, I took a trip up to um, Victoria and Vancouver. It is so beautiful up there. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. I mean, I was only like 17 at the time, so I probably didn't appreciate it as much as I should have, but I have pictures, and it's just like, man, it was gorgeous. The ferry to, to Victoria, oh my gosh, I took so many pictures. It was so pretty. So pretty. Canada is gorgeous. Now, this was before you needed passports to go over there, but still, absolutely gorge. Wait, if I can come too, Emily, I'll drive. I did Maine to Florida in one go. There you go. Twice. Exactly. Yeah, I uh, did the trip from Oregon to Colorado for a while. I lived there for a little while. Okay, let's see. What is our next question? Our next question is... All right, which of these spells will summon an object to you? A, Experiarmus, B, Wingardium Levioso, Leviosa. Oh my god, I need I need Hermione. Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, C, Accio, or D, Lumos. Which of these spells will summon an object to you? 5 hours is nothing. Exactly. I can make a trip to Cardiff to see you. No problem. Never been to that part of Wales before. See, and then we can go to the Doctor Who Doctor Who Museum. Dr. Hugh. Oh my gosh, words are hard. Words are so hard. <laughs> Little bit of black here. And we're singing about our colors. Go. Accio, you are correct. Although when I first read the books, I probably said Accio a lot. <laughs> Which is not as good to say, and it's spelled differently. Hoping YouTube doesn't ding me for that one. It was just a mispronunciation, YouTube, I promise. <laughs> it's not Leviosa. I know, I pronounced it wrong. I know, I know. Okay, that is all of the multiple choice questions. And now we have like nine or ten true or false questions. Did you get the Doctor Who coloring book yet? Yes, I did. Right. Meow. Yeah. I'll definitely be coloring a page from here. There's a really cool TARDIS page that I'm interested in. Dr. Hugh can be the next Doctor, a mix of the Doctors and Hugh from Star Trek. Oh, there you go. There you go. I actually was reading an article where uh, David Tennant's son would be perfect for like the 15th Doctor, not the next one, but he'll be in the same age range as Matt Smith um, by the time the 15th Doctor rolls around. And they said that it would make a good... Um, continuity in the sense that uh, David Tennant's wife, who plays his daughter, which is kind of funny, um, her dad, I think it was Pertwee, uh, was the fifth, was it Pertwee that was the fifth, fifth doctor? Well, her dad was the fifth doctor, and then David Tennant was the tenth doctor, and so their son could be the fifteenth doctor, and so it would be five, ten, fifteen. These are the articles that I read. I don't read things intellectually. I read about Doctor Who. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, all right, so true or false? All but one of the Weasley children are in Gryffindor. Wait, is that the answer? I feel like that's not right. Hmm, hang on. Let's see. I feel like that answer that I have isn't correct. Well, here's the answers down here, okay. We're 41. Huh, then I'd probably get this one wrong. All right, so the question is, true or false? Okay, yeah, the answer is false. You read the article the other day too, there you go. False, okay, uh, then help me out. Which child is it that isn't in Gryffindor? It has to be one of the older brothers. Peter Davidson was her, was her dad. Oh, okay, see, older Doctor Who, I am not as up on as I should be. Um, so I was trying to remember, but I do know it was the fifth doctor. But yeah, so which one of her children is it that, um, isn't in Gryffindor? It has to be one of the older brothers, right? I can't play this game. I know nothing of Potterville. Even some of these are throwing me, Jean, so you're not alone. But yeah, which brother is it that, I, I assume it's one of the older ones, Charlie or Bill, right? 
Yeah, because all the younger ones were in were in uh, Gryffindor. Percy's Gryffindor. Yeah, because he was a uh, house boy or whatever it was. They're all in Gryffindor, but what was the question again? All but one of the Weasley children are in Gryffindor. So I guess it's currently instead of is in Gryffindor. Interesting. All but one of the Weasley children are in Gryffindor. They are all in Gryffindor. Which child isn't? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Which child isn't in Gryffindor? Maybe they're talking about like currently? Because there's Bill and Charlie, obviously, that are not in school anymore. That one's confusing me a little bit. Figure it out. What? Question. Well, do you know the answer? It says all but one of them, which is false, because they're all in Gryffindor. No! <laughs> uh, it's getting late. I misunderstood the question. This is why we need Steve on streams, guys. This is why, yeah, I miss hearing the question. See, now, yeah, I'm all caught up now. This is why we need Steve as a co-streamer, because I can't understand my own questions. It would have been true if the way I was thinking. Well, then. <clears throat> I'm just gonna... Hey, look, it's the color black. I'm gonna move, move on now. So we're just gonna... Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Maybe, Patty. Maybe. I'm about, uh, I've drank about half the glass. Half the glass. All right, it's like almost 1030 here. My brain is moving a little bit slower. A little bit slower. I'm focused on coloring. I mean, oh my lord. My, my lord. <laughs> okay, fine, Steve. You can sit with us for now. I know, right? <laughs> See, I was used to the other questions, and I'm like, wait, which kid isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is why I should read things carefully before I start. It's not... Okay, I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. It's like half a glass, all right? All right? I just can't read, apparently. Words are hard. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. All right. True or false? True or false? Hermione Granger's parents are dentists. It happens to the best of us. I know, right? Hermione's parents are dentists. True or false? True or false? See, and you guys were all trying to explain it to me, but I just wasn't getting it. I just wasn't getting it. Like, I try to read everything in chat, but sometimes it just doesn't connect. <laughs> Hi, Corbins. You are just in time to see me trip over all of my words and get thoroughly confused. Thoroughly. Oh my goodness. That is correct. It is true. They are dentists. See, I knew that one. My parents are dentists. Okay, there we go. We're moving along. I kind of feel like I want to stop doing black and moving on to the other color, but I know if I do, I'm not going to want to go back to black. So I just. Back in black! That's too familiar. Usually that's me. I know, right? Yeah, it was totally me. Totally me. Ew, my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and do this sleeve and then we'll do her stomach and then we'll move on to the blue. I like it with the color. It's really coming to life now. All right, let's see. Um, True or false? James Potter's nickname was Prongs. James Potter's nickname was Prongs. True or false? I love that Steve has to come in and help me occasionally, though. <laughs> what do you think? Should we do a giveaway for tomorrow's stream? Should we? Should we do a sticker giveaway? We could do a sticker giveaway. Just for the fun of it. That's what I'm thinking. Twould be fun. 
That's right. It is true. That it is true. His nickname is Prongs. Bonus question. Why is his nickname Prongs? Hmm? Why is his nickname Prongs? Riddle me this. Riddle me that. And I'm thinking not just the new sticker, but we could make any of them up for grabs. And if you're curious uh, what they are, you can do exclamation point Etsy. You can see those all there. We've got a fairy teacup house sticker. We got a mandala sticker. We got mushroom fairy house, apple fairy house, and a cool holographic octopus sticker. And I'm in the middle of drawing a series of Gone with the Wind dresses. Um, they're, they're a little time consuming because there's like 20 of them. So it's, I'm slowly getting there. And when I am done with them, we're going to make a sticker for a Gone with the Wind dress, which I think would be pretty, pretty cool. His thingy is a stag. He's a buck animagus. Yes, that's what it is. Yes, he's a, a stag uh, animagus. That is why he's called Prongs, because his Patronus is stag. Not necessarily Patronus, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, what Patty said. It's because he's an animagus, because all of his buddies, what is it? It's Prongs, Padfoot, 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 uh, Let's see, Peter Pettigrew is the rat, and um, Lupin is the werewolf. So it's because of what he can turn into. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, his, the Patronus, I believe, is his mother's, uh, his mother's Patronus is the stag. Or maybe she's the doe. Yeah, his mother's Patronus is the doe, the father's is the stag, but he also is an animagus. Right, Angela? There is just not enough time to, to get them all drawn, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm like halfway done. I need to draw more. Wormtail. Thank you, Patty. I could not remember. Could not remember. Okay. Uh, true or false? Hagrid's dog's name is Fluffy. Hagrid's dog's name is Fluffy. Yeah, a doe. You're right. Yeah. The true or false Hagrid's dog's name is Fluffy. Uh, Norbert was the dragon, but yes, you are correct. It is false. Um, I'm trying to remember, and Fluffy was either... I think Fluffy was the name of the three-headed dog. So I suppose technically it could be true, but I think when they say his dog, they're referring to... Um, what was Fang the name of his the name of his dog and that he actually keeps in the house? I think it was Fang. Because I don't think that Fluffy was the spider... Pretty sure Fluffy was the three-headed dog. Yeah, Norbert was the dragon. No, uh, what was the spider's name? The spider's name was... Hmm, I am drawing a blank on the spider's name. Can anybody remember what the spider's name was? I want to say it started with an A. Yeah, Fang is his actual dog. Yeah, yeah. Fluffy's the three-headed dog. Aragorn, that's what it is. Not to be confused with Aragorn, who is a much more attractive TV character, and also a completely different series. <laughs> Aragog! That's right, Aragog. That's what it was. Aragog. That's right, that's right. Okay, let's see. What else? Let's see, what time is it? 10.30. Okay, we have 30 minutes until Belinda goes live. So we will just keep going because I'm having fun. I still have some wine. We still have a sweater to color. I could probably go for another two hours if I was being perfectly honest with myself. 
Which, by the way, if you have not um, followed Belinda's page, it is Color with Faithful Girl. She is going to be on after me. You can find it easily if you type in exclamation point Harry. That will give you the schedule for the Colorathon, as well as it is in the description below. So if you haven't um, hit subscribe on Belinda's channel yet, you should do so. Not just for the Colorathon, but also she's loads of fun and does an awesome job with all of her stuff. And, uh, yeah, worth taking a gander. Okay, let's see. Uh, next one, because we have, like, six more to go. Six more to go. Okay, I just lost internet. I think I need to go to bed. All right, cat, get some rest. Have a great night. And, uh, yeah, we'll be live again tomorrow. But we still got, like, 30 minutes or so. And, honestly, we'll just keep going until uh, Belinda is live. <gasps> Might as well fill the time. I'm cool with that. All right, let's see. So, where are we at? All right, true or false? Vernon and Petunia Dursley aren't Harry's real aunt and uncle. True or false? Who are the first? Anybody else having a good time? Who's having a good time, Chad? I'm having a good time. <laughs> no, I do enjoy this. This is quite a bit of fun. It really is just like sitting down, chatting with friends, having a glass of wine, having some tea, or if it's morning, you know, having some coffee and tea. I much prefer lives over upload. Hey, look at that. We finished all the black. We haven't done her cuffs on her sleeves yet, but that is correct. It is false. Sadly, they are his real aunt and uncle. Imagine having them for an actual aunt and uncle. Like that would be just the worst. All right, so now we're going to grab Dark Indigo. Dark Indigo. I'm pretty, pretty proud. We made all 50 of these questions last couple hours, so we're doing good. I didn't want to blow through them all right at the beginning. All right, so I'm going to use Dark Indigo to go over the black a little bit. Um, just because I want to blue it up just a little bit. Not blow it up, but blue it up. If that makes sense. Not like Harry did to his aunt, which he did blow up. <laughs> Always have a good time at your streams, Emily, even when they're Harry Potter related. Exactly. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad. Yay. <laughs> Patty party. Woo. All right. So we're using this dark indigo here. All right, let's see. What else? What else? Okay, true or false? In Quidditch, you score points with the quaffle. I'm glad, Corbins. So, true or false? In Quidditch, you score, po you score points with the quaffle. I think what it is is, like, the later it gets, like, the more... You know how your mouth gets kind of dry after you've been talking a little bit? Like, I think that's what causes me to trip up a little bit more when I'm saying words. Words are hard. There we go. Let's see. Yes, the answer is true. Why, Diamond, we're doing Harry Potter trivia. Now I'm trying to think of the song, Here for a Good Time. There you go. That's right, Shana. It is true. It is true. Although, if you catch the snitch, you can also get points and win the game. All right, so we're just using this dark indigo here. Oh, this is really coming together. I like how this is looking. I wasn't sure how it was going to look. I mean, this isn't the usual kind of book that I color in. You know what I mean? Wine words. Okay, it's not that bad. I've had like two thirds of a glass. It's not like I'm chugging glass after glass. Am I a lightweight? Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. I definitely should eat something after this, though. That pizza, leftover pizza, sounds really good. You support. <laughs> You score points with a waffle? No, it's a quaffle. Five points with a quaffle. See, it's a quaffle. <laughs> Snitch worth more and ends the game. Exactly. Exactly. It's called a quaffle. Quaffle, quaffle. 
Quaffle waffle? I want waffles that look like a quaffle. Anybody else want waffles that look like a quaffle? Because that sounds delicious. I, I think I just want waffles and I think I'm just hungry. I think I'm just hungry, Steve. Steve, I need waffles. Steve. <laughs> I don't need waffles. I need I need some leftover pizza. I think that would be really good right now. Okay. A little bit more. I say a little bit more, but I've still got this sleeve in this. So it's a, a lot more of the blue. This is where coloring like takes a little while because you have all these tiny little spots you gotta fit in. Let's see, I got beat on the lightweight, had a gaster by three years ago, so like a quarter of the pint does me out. Yeah, there you go. Who made up these crazy words? <laughs> I want waffles. Emily, shush, sweetie. No. Steve needs to bring me waffles. And I'm gonna eat waffles on stream. That, that's all I'm gonna do. We'll have another stream tomorrow night where I just eat waffles. We'll have a plate of waffles just right here. Okay, seriously, it's, look, it's, it's, it's pretty full still. I've hardly had any. And waffles and wine sound delicious. That sounds delicious. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Okay, true or false? The Imperious Curse allows you to control your victim's actions. True or false? Look, I'm having a sip of water too. <clears throat> I'd be even louder than I am now if I actually was tipsy. <laughs> one glass. That is the max that I usually do. If I have more than one, I just regret it. Warning before you watch Emily's live stream. Prepare, prepare for your food. Emily's not responsible if you get hungry during the stream. True story. We regularly switch to food as a topic, like quite frequently. If anybody on the stream has put on 10 pounds since they started watching me, I apologize. I enjoy food. Waffles with Emily and Steve. Sounds like some kind of awkward talk show. Yes. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, Ashley, I, we've always said that when, when I get, um, when we get a, a new house and I've got a bigger kitchen, I totally am going to do cooking streams and we will totally make waffles with Steve. Only in Emily's world, waffles and wine. It sounds delicious. I actually don't know this one. We'll see. What was the question again? It was, oh yes. So true or false? The imperious curse allows you to control your victim's actions. True or false? Now I know the answer, but that's because I have the answer key in front of me. I literally highlighted all of the answers in red. Okay, use in the dark indigo. There we go. All the way down. Look at her sweater all coming together all sweatery. I think true, true. Yes, it is true. Um, Because he uses the Imperial, like they say, it's called the Imperious Curse, but it's, they say Imperio when they cast it. Think back to the movie where, uh, Ra where they're going to rob the bank and um the uh the dwarf, what is it the goblin is with them and uh they sneak up uh, harry sneaks up over the side and imperios the goblin uh bank teller so that they can get him to take them to the vault because they think that hermione is going to be found out because she was pretending to be bellatrix lestrange did i mention i knew the stories uh let's see uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. make a fruit compote to put over the waffles use wine for the liquid boom waffles and wine oh my god ashley you've just blown my mind because i always make a fruit compote because the syrup has too much sugar in it for me oh my god like blueberry oh what about a blueberry compote with a sangria wine oh my god ashley we need to do this like this needs to be a thing then you can legitimately have wine for breakfast. But question, will cooking the fruit compote with the sangria cook out the alcohol? Mm. Instead of water, try wine in the waffle mix. Ooh, that could be a thing. Sangria waffles. I like it. I like it. I like the way you're all thinking. I salute you. <laughs> I like the way you all are thinking. I like it. I am down with this. Steve, take notes. I want wine waffles. Steve! 
Uh, that's good stuff right there. Okay, look, we're almost done with the blue. We're almost done with the blue. See, that's, okay, that's going to be the first thing that whenever we do our first food stream, our first thing will be wine waffles with like a blueberry con Are you boiling it? If you don't boil it heavily, then no, the alcohol won't run up. Ah, yeah, because you're just kind of heating up, letting it thicken up. That will be the first thing that we make, okay? So when we get a new house with a bigger kitchen, I will do a like waffle and wine stream and we'll make a blueberry compote with sangria in, and we will make waffles with wine compote, wine slash fruit compote, all right? It's a thing, all right? We're gonna set a date. Now we just gotta go get a house. Steve, we need a house! Steve! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, true or false? Draco Malfoy killed Albus Dumbledore. True or false? Quick, yellow posted the idea. I know, right? Okay. Waffles and wine. Boom. Go to IHOP and demand the wine waffles. <laughs> Can you imagine the look on their face? You're like, uh, what is this lady doing? That is hilarious. I, Larius, they'll just know that I'm a mother, right? That's that's how it works. When you're a mother, you drink wine. Kids and wine, it goes hand in hand, right? And a summer house, yes! Steve, we need a regular house and a summer house and a stream where we make wine waffles. <laughs> Steve, finish your dissertation! Yes, Steve! <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. I love it here. Amazing! You are correct. It is false. It is false. Snape did the killing. Draco did not. He did not. But to be fair, Dumbledore asked Snape to kill him. And really, what kind of friend asks you to kill them? That just, that seems like a bit much. That seems like a bit much. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'd ever ask any of my friends to kill me. That seems, that seems a, a tad, a tad too much to ask of the relationship. I mean, maybe if you're, you know, a Death Eater that just comes naturally to you, but I gotta say, it's a bit much to ask. A bit much. Steve, we need a house! Now all I'm thinking is some kind of weird amalgamation of Blue's Clues and Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> oh, I know, right? With some kind of tipsy cooking show. Yes! That's exactly what we need, Ashley. Exactly. Come on, Steve. Emily's got plans and they need to come to fruition. And I love the fruition. They need to come to, to, to fruition. Snape did, but Dumbledore already died from a destroying thing. That is true. That is true. So I guess he just cut his time shorter. Fruition! <laughs> it was for the greater good. Yes, yes, I suppose. But still, I don't know. It's kind of a big ask. Kind of a big ask. I suppose he did save Malfoy in the end. I don't know. I don't know. Still seems like a big ask. Okay, now let's grab... First, let's get some water. My throat is dry. Hmm. What time is it? 10.44. Okay, well, let's just keep coloring her sweater until we're out of time. Uh, how, we've got two questions left, okay? Two left. So, true or false? The secret training group Harry starts in Order of the Phoenix is called Dumbledore's Agency. True or false? You're cracking me up, Emily. I'm doing three things at once. Listening, watching, and coloring Dumbledore's cloak. That's called multitasking, and you are very good at it, Angela. I commend you. Multitasking is a talent in and of itself. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I feel like this gray... Okay, we're still going to use this gray. This is 235. How dark is this gray? 235. Oop, I hit the mic. Um, instead of 235, let's grab 234, okay? You are correct. It is false. It is Dumbledore's army, not Dumbledore's agency. That's right. Army. It is the army. Army, army. Although not to be confused with in the army now with Polly Shore. Can you imagine a Harry Potter movie with Polly Shore? But like young Polly Shore. So it's like he could be at, because I feel like Polly Shore now would need to be a teacher because he's much older. But young Polly Shore. I can't imagine Polly Shore in a Harry Potter movie. Making magic. <laughs> I'm coloring David Tennant's face. There are worse ways to spend one's time. That is true, Lazzie. That is true. 
Okay. Oh wait, the making coffee thing, that's not Polly Shore. That's uh that's SNL. Okay. But still. Polly Shore and Harry Potter would be a little weird. A little weird. Okay, let's see. Let's add 234 coal grade five. Okay. So we're actually gonna color, we're gonna fill in the majority of this because her sweater is gray. But we're gonna go back over after we have the gray and we're gonna go over with like a light blue because I still want it to look kind of bluish. In the picture, it has a little bit of a blue hue to it. Let's see, I love Polly Shore. <laughs> Woo, finished my Niffler page I was coloring. Not near as good as what Emily's doing, but I like it. Oh, Shayna, I'm sure it is absolutely lovely. Shayna, you should post it in our Facebook group. Uh, type exclamation point face group and that'll bring you to our Facebook group. Uh, could you imagine Dumbledore's army, but as a mash episode? <laughs> oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Only Brits were allowed in the movie. Ah, that's fair. That's fair. But I don't know. Polly Shore, they could make an exception. Encino Man, awesome movie. Yes, Encino Man. That's what I was thinking of, Shara. Love Encino Man. Love, love, love. Brendan, early Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser was cute. He was real cute. Speaking of old movies... Did you see a Bill and Ted movie is coming out this summer? I did. I didn't read the article, but I did see it briefly. Yes. Yes, Encino Man. Exactly. Polly Shore would be a great gym teacher at Hogwarts. Oh my God, Patty. That would be amazing. That would be utterly amazing. Yeah, see, I love Encino Man. But try again. No space. and Yeah, no space. And it's, it's Facebook, not face group. So here. I think I did it wrong. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, here. Exclamation point. Face book there you go and that'll take you to the facebook group and you can join there and then you can post it in there and anybody else if you're coloring any harry potter um, pages feel free to post it in there feel free what time is it 48 okay we got t minus 12 minutes until belinda streams okay so if you haven't followed belinda yet Color with Faithful Girl. Um, if I have any mods in here, Lazzy, I know you're here. Oh my god, George of the Jungle is hot. I know, right? George, George, George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm not going to do that because that's just crazy. Um, but yeah, if somebody, if one of my mods could put the link for Belinda's channel, uh, that would be super helpful because she's going to be starting here shortly. Here shortly, shortly. Okay. All right. Last question, derp. <laughs> I'm sleep deprived, y'all. There you go. Brain fart. <laughs> All right, last question. True or false? The Whomping Willow is located in the Forbidden Forest. True or false? I finished my birds and posted them in the Facebook group. Awesome, Angela. I know I've seen a few birds finished. I'll have to check. I don't remember the names next to them. But I will take a gander. I will take a look. I'm definitely going to have to darken up her sweater in a few places. To be sure. Defo, defo, defo. Just filling in all this white spot, white, white space with gray here. Yeah, we're definitely going to darken this up because this is too flat for me right now. You are correct. It is false. It's actually on the ground of Hogwarts, not in the forest. Not in the forest. Okay, let's see. 146. We are just going to do a very light color of blue over the top of all this and that is going to open us up to add some more darkness to our sweater okay there we go a little bit of that blue hue to it i didn't want it to be real bright but it's definitely got a little bit of a bluish look to it hey but we got a lot done today yeah, her sweater still has a ways to go. We have a lot more to do. I post some fun little things in the group. I love checking in there. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, um, Ashley, is this your first time on the live stream? I don't feel like I've seen your name too much, but I'm so glad you came in. All right, what are we thinking of Hermione so far? Her sweater is in by, by no means done. We need to add a lot more shadow and darkness to it. But what do we think? Are we coming along here? I feel like we're coming along. Like I said, we have a little ways to go still. Definitely feel like I want to add a little bit more blue. We still have this color here that we haven't used. Indenthrin blue. Okay, so... What was the color of that sock that set Dobby free? I think it was just a black sock because it was Harry's school sock, right? 
So yeah, I think it was a black sock, like the one that uh, Hermione's wearing. But yeah, I think it's coming along. Well, I'm so glad that you are here and welcome to anybody new that's in here. So here is the dealio. We are gonna be live again tomorrow, 3 p.m. U.S. Central Time. We're gonna continue working on our page here. We are not gonna get it all done, I know that, but I'm hoping we'll get the rest of her done and maybe start on the cauldron, maybe something bottles, we'll see. Yeah, black, yellow, and red. Pretty sure it was black, that's what, I'll, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so yeah, like I said, tomorrow we'll be live again. Head on over to Belinda's stream. She's going to be live here in about nine minutes. Okay, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, this is it here. If you haven't followed the Instagram, this is it. Oh my God, I put Oopstagram. I can't type chat. Instagram. Okay, let's see. I think that's all of it for now. Okay, um, you can set a reminder because I already have tomorrow scheduled. So you can set the reminder for that. When we come back, we'll start. Um, we'll keep working on her sweater. That's what we'll be picking up on when we come back. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. Kat, thank you for your super chat tonight. You're amazing. Um, thank you for that, Lazi. So there's the link to Belinda's channel right there. Head on over. Like I said, she's going to start about... Ooh, eight-ish minutes. Oh, thank you, Tyler. I forgot the Etsy store. Yes, there's the Etsy store. Oopstagram. I know, right? Oopstagram. Um, where you can find uh, coloring pages and stickers and all that good stuff. So feel free to take a look at that. I'm thinking tomorrow we'll do a sticker giveaway. So if you would like a chance to win one of the stickers, these are them here again. So this one will come free with it. That's the teacup in the microwave. Um, this is the holographic apple fairy house the mandala sticker teapot fairy house mushroom fairy house and our cool holographic octopus there's going to be more as time goes on but that's all that there is now sounds good ellen okay so with that i am gonna head out thank you thank you thank you everyone for being here thank you everyone for watching thank you for everyone for supporting thank you to all my members and i will see you all here tomorrow 3 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Okay, so that's 5 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 2 p.m. Western Time, and like 9 p.m. UK Time. Okay? All right, everyone have a great night. Head over to Belinda's. Show her some love. Make sure you follow her. And hey, if you haven't followed my channel yet, follow my channel too because it's so much fun here and we're awesome. We normally stream three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Okay? So thanks again, everyone. Have a great night. Have fun at Belinda's. And I will see you all tomorrow, okay? Bye!